Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 homebrew. Mm -hmm. And thanks for hanging in while we deal with technical difficulties. Yeah. <laughs> it's only a five minute delay. But uh, yeah, the camera was just glitching and giving green lines. Yeah, and it was never weird. Good. It was just flashing these green things up on the screen. So, so maybe I should just reboot the computer before every show. That, that's probably the same, actually. It always fixes it. <laughs> always fixes yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. I don't um, know what was going on there, but it's working now. Yeah. And that's what's important is that it's working. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, so we have some very exciting games today. We have... Pit Cat, and we have the Pit world Cat. exclusive debut of Pit Cat. Nice. <laughs> it's always good when there's a cat in the title. Yes. Oh, speaking of, open the door. Yep, because they were just driving me crazy when I was trying to fix things. You're trying to come in? So. You gonna come in now? Darcy looks different today. Well, it doesn't say Darcy. It says Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. Prince of Indiana we're going to be uh, taking a look at. Nice. Also, Snakes. Nice. And an update to Cross Dock by Kev Kelly. And I want to thank the Twitch subscribers, which you can see down that side of the mm -hmm. screen, scrolling. Ooh. <gasps> you got it working. Fancy. Look at that. You can actually read people's names. <laughs> Almafer, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Catalog, CD-W, Charles and Check, Cold Heat, 007, Dianoid, Dan ABC, Glenn Main, Ground Trooper, Johnny and Nitro, John E. Nitro. Probably John E. Nitro. <laughs> Johnny Nitro. Johnny WC23. Carl G. Croco 2600. Mark Space Inc. Metal Atari 1969. Metal Lunar 7. Miss Command. MK Smith. Mr. Fix. Muddy Funster. Nathan Strum. Pat Graf VG. RC70. Repentless VG. Ricardo Pym. Six Sweet. Sir Catleg. Socrates 0603. Spartan 581. S. Ramirez 2008. D Train 37. Welshman 89. Thunkus Tiki Dan Gay. And Trek MD. Nice. And that's why I have to scroll them now. Yeah. Focus is behind us. A little it's bit. Not a bad. Little bit. It's not bad. Let's just. Cheers. <laughs> better? That should be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's better. Thank you yeah. very much. Going for the soft look. We yeah. rub, <laughs> rub some Vaseline, yeah, on, Vaseline the, on the lens. So it's all blurry yeah. and I'm shiny. Getting, I'm and... getting to that, that age. <laughs> oh no. Ready for your close up. <laughs> yeah. And you can support the show and subscribe for free too if you have your link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime mm. and click subscribe mm. and make sure you feed your cats. What are you or doing? Or else they're going to start crying. What's up with you? Make sure you follow and subscribe and click like on all the things on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Mm. Scroll is very fancy. Yeah, mm. it's pretty good. I it like it. Disappears behind the Twitch subscribers yeah. thing. Very, very cool. Yeah, oh, yeah. wrong cat. Wrong cat. <laughs> um, yeah. So, mail news and feedback. Um, as you've seen already, we've added mm -hmm. the scrolling subscriber bar mm -hmm. on the right because the font was literally getting too small. And too tiny. Yes, like, it was too just tiny. too, too tiny. Like, I so. could barely read it. You could read it, yeah. but not too if great. You were on, if you're on a device, forget it. Like, just, oh, no, yeah, no. no. It's just dots and yeah. dots all over the place mm -hmm. um so thank you once again for all the amazing support the cat is trying to destroy the camera it's full <laughs> of beans today i know we and and we did blame him for the technical issues earlier just yes. because it's easy to blame cats it's easy to blame cats i just feed sir meowington just fed, oh, oh, we just fed sir, sir meowington nice well that does sometimes calm them down come here that's the right cat yeah pixel pixel come um, here and we've also added alerts when people subscribe yes. or give bits mm -hmm. or follow or any of those things. So nobody's done that just yet, but we will be waiting. It makes mm -hmm. a little sound and pops up. So if you want to do that or we'll just wait for somebody to do that. Yeah. And I've also recalibrated the colors on the Frame Meister. Oh, Remember cool. the colors were like, oh, it's a, a little, little off here, yeah. a little off there. Mm -hmm. um, I tried to fix them on OBS and it just wasn't working well. So I made, I went back to the source, mm. went back to the Frame Meister mm. and it cleaned up the look of it quite a bit too because mm. the colors were quite a bit off. Um, must be a, is it a full moon? <laughs> that explains the camera problem. There yep. we go. Yay! Jupiter Storm 17 just subscribed. There, it's on the stream. Lovely. It works. Yeah. <laughs> Two things working. Yeah. Hallelujah. So that's pretty cool. Did you guys hear that notification too? It should have 
Made a little oh, sound. We heard it. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So I think so because I still have it on. Yeah. Ting. Ting. Excellent. It all works. Yeah. <laughs> so that when people subscribe or anything like that, we'll hear it mm -hmm. and we'll and you guys will see it. I can see it over there, but not on there. Mm -hmm. um, I did not know we had to resubscribe every month. I know that's. I mean, it's it's one of the very very few. You can't do it on ahead, what? right? You can't do it no. for six months or uh, anything? You can, I think. You can. But not no, with no, Prime. No, 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 you can't. Not with Prime. Not with Prime. It's one of the very few things mm -hmm. on the internet where you have to do it every month. Mm -hmm. Everywhere else is like, opt out. Yeah. So they're kind of doing it the right way. And I nobody's used to it. Yeah. Everybody's used to, oh, it's on my, I forgot to cancel again. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But this one is, yeah. uh, you have to opt in because mm -hmm. I guess... You're, you could quit Amazon Prime and it just wouldn't work, but yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. I guess they, and then they also make it so that if it ends, you could subscribe to a different channel too. But if it already automatically subscribed, you'd be like, oh, I, I wanted to, I give, wanted it to, to this, go, give it to someone else. Yeah, yeah give so it to I this other get channel. That. I kind of yeah. get that. Yeah. So, yes, you do have to manually subscribe every month. So it goes down and then it remind people and it goes do -do 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 back up again. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, thank you so much, Jupiter Storm 17, for subscribing for two months now it's very awesome and then you have a little thing beside your name and you can put cats on the screen mm -hmm. that's the huge bonus is being able to put the cats on the screen mm -hmm. anyway so the look should be really good and then when i get the rgb back um from nathan strum which we have an update today yeah. as well about yeah um i'll recalibrate again with erlen because he's a professional colorist yeah <laughs> yes and make sure it's really he's really the, good he's, he's the dude to do it with yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it'll look even better um which is great mm. um so uh speaking of the rgb atari repair by nathan strum we're going to take a look at part 12 part 12 of the rgb repair thank you nathan for, uh, yes. for giving such such detailed updates yes uh so there we are drag it over to that screen oh. try to at least there you go um there we go let's take a look at part 12 screen capture that's the wrong screen oh uh, because i rebooted and it's all confused that's okay not that screen <laughs> that makes it crazy uh so that was the teaser for his update it was the quick weld i don't i've never seen that before repair household repairs automotive plumbing marine crafts and more mm. i guess you could file it under crafts because it doesn't say electronics or, or 2600 reinforced epoxy that's very interesting yeah yeah um, so chapter 12, what are we, number are we up to now? Oh, right. So time to put things together. Cause last episode he had it all laid out mm. and the, the, the pieces were all working, mm. but they're all, the wires are all over the place. Yeah. And now he's putting it back together. Nice. Um, so this is his system mm. that he had some stuff running through. Um, and then he's got all the wires and nicely taped together mm. and he's got them running around the back and he did something I didn't do and Darcy and I didn't do is wrap tape around it where it goes past something and that's oh, really smart smart does it wear on the um it would wear on the wire wires eventually after a while you know, yeah that moving makes around sense. unless it's taped down and yeah it might be but that's really really smart that is smart yeah um and i'm guessing he has them color coded for so. <laughs> so you can trace them and then he's got another set here where it bends over again as mm -hmm. it comes out of the rf shielding um and then he has to get no those are the joystick ports and the power port and he's got it back together and this is the kind of cutout mess that darcy and i did to fit <laughs> oh, the, RGB yeah, the rgb out yeah and um and then he's talking about cutting away some of the pieces on the rf shield mm. um and he's planning some let's see uh, installing components mm. uh, there's more wiring there's the um, uh, reset switch or? no it's a little button that you can pause the game with oh any game pauses oh. your atari makes the screen go blank though because oh, it just pauses okay. everything yeah because when you when the atari mm -hmm. works it is continually actively drawing there's no yeah. frame buffer if it had a frame buffer you might be able to like pause, pause that the, screen the fr yeah. and just show that frame over and over again yeah. but the atari actively draws the frame mm -hmm. so it has to kind of stop on a command 
Hi, cat. Cat's crazy over the there. Cat's crazy. <laughs> um, but this also changes the palette. 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 Yeah. And you um, compress it, and it changes the, like the the look of it a little oh, bit. Oh, neat. Um, not pal to NDC, but different shades. Mm. Uh, there's a new RGB uh, connector out there mm. with has that has the audio nice. as well, which is nice. And that's a tool he's going to use, and he has to cut it away a bit because he can't get um, the washer in there. It's right oh, butt up against yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of an issue we had too, Darcy and I, when mm. we were putting, putting it in. So he sawed it away. Now there's a little thing there. Now there's no problem getting the washer. You can see it there. Mm -hmm. And the um, the nut on it, very solid looking mm -hmm. connector. Now he's taped it off, and this is where the um, oh the epoxy the epoxy comes in. He's going to cover that extra. Fill it, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so he's filled it in there. Nice. And that was kind of the end of the update. And very then he, cool. Then he nice. uh, posted this that looks like good. Yeah. an hour ago. Yeah. So that looks really, really nice. So yes. it's a little bit cleaner. Yeah. The other one was falling out all the time too. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> when, the, when the cat stepped on it. <laughs> blame totally cats. blame him. Yeah. And uh, and then he posted this, which is I have no idea. He's got like a a power connector for a modern computer there, mm. and he's got some looks like audio cables, mm. and he's got a um, a tester. Yeah. Um, I have no idea. I can I understand that, but I don't know what that's connected to. Mm. Like, is that connected to a modern PC power supply? <laughs> Dangerous! It's too much power, Nathan. Don't do it. <laughs> it's gonna blow it up. <laughs> uh, I said, nice patching job, very clean. I have no idea what I'm looking at in the second yeah. picture. A continuity test. Well, what's that connector? Looks like it's from a modern computer power supply. Too much power for a poor old PCS. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go now. Uh, well, if I told you now, it wouldn't be a teaser. A nice, yeah. nice. <laughs> very, very cool update. Thank you so much, Nathan. Yeah. Uh, so it's very close. Uh, you guys should totally watch JB Weld videos on YouTube. I looked at it very briefly, mm. and he like welded an engine block with it. With that like stuff? That stuff. Really? And it held together. Oh, wow. Like under the engine pressure or something, like it had... He was measure, measuring the PSI of it. It was like wow. incredible. Uh, well, epoxies are pretty impressive. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, it is a pimped out 2600. It'll have component out. Mm -hmm. It'll have RGB out. Uh, I believe it'll have an extra audio out as well. The RF is still connected internally if I ever needed to run that. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going to look, it looks really, really good. And mm -hmm. thank you so much, Nathan for uh putting rescuing the 2600 from the obli from oblivion the rgb board was toast it was fried i don't know if nathan's going to try and get it back working again mm -hmm. um another picture from a uh watcher of the show yeah. uh, about uh, the t-shirt nice it's a little bit different this time yeah uh oh it's all shut down i have to navigate to it because i have to reboot one second i'll get it worked out yeah, it's it always sucks when you have to reboot. Quick. There we go. It does. Um, so this is from Carl G again. Uh, so this... Uh, Carl G got a sh shirt for Maggie, who's in the picture. Yeah. But it was the wrong size, so she made it into a pillow. Oh! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It's like a t-shirt pillow. It's it's got the arms even. I like, like that. it's got it she sewed it up, I, I guess. I know that's and so stuffed cute. It. <laughs> I like her t-shirt by the way. Space Maggie. Game. Yep. yep. Very that's nice Carl, shirt. That's Carl G's game. Is it nice? Yep. I like it. Yeah. Um so you can cuddle with that pillow too. Yeah, that's While a perfect watching, cuddle pillow actually. Watching TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's got the right shape and yeah. everything. Oh, that's so that cute. It's awesome. <laughs> Uh, I like they it. they do have an option for face masks. Um, oh, it's just not on there. Yeah. Yeah. Would two people want them. I could make them you available. You add them. Yeah, yeah. You want? I'll make them for both. I guess. Yeah, sure. Uh, the cats and the non-cat oh, one. Oh, the cats. Yeah. Sure. I I guess because I was thinking here, we're like almost over the COVID in BC, and I was like, well, oh, we not, don't need that. We're not over it. It's, I mean, it's going like to come back at some there's point. There's like 200 people in BC that Yeah, but it. it's going to come back at some point. Out of Let's millions. Face it. It, Let's it probably face it. will. 
Yeah. But US US <laughs> so, is in a pretty bad And I still have situation. to in workplaces you still need to wear them. Like in yeah. even in my do workplace. Want, do you want a, a kitten one? I, I, a I'll do a one? kitten one. Okay. I'll wear it to work. They'll all be like, What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, cats. Yeah. Um Yeah. So zero page homebrew game update. I had a little bit of time this mm. week to mm -hmm. work on my game. Came up with a, ga a great way to store and update the play field. Um, that's way more efficient than what I had in mind. Mm -hmm. It's like way, way faster for updating. Um, and I have a full screen of play field displaying. Not yet what I want, but I've got it uh, started. And I figured out a clean animation for the first iteration of the game when I reveal mm -hmm. it of your player. So mm. it it's pretty it's decent enough mm -hmm. that it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Asymmetric playfield, yeah. I'm going to try for a uh, mirrored playfield, mm. and that is dangerous because there's one spot in a mirrored playfield where it, you have to update it on that exact spot. Oh, okay. Um, for playfield two, and you can't do anything on that exact spot. Mm. So you have to be very clever with your player like character. Like your timing? Of, your timing, yeah, yeah, because it occupies that exact spot. Mm. I'm going to try using the mirrored playfield first, and if it doesn't work out, I'll go for the non-mirrored um, playfield. Mm. Um, and that's simple enough. It's not, it's not the end of the world. It's just I have a lot more room, because I don't have to update playfield zero, because I don't mm. think... Uh, it's... It's not going to be a... Two, I'm trying for a one-line kernel. Trying for it, but we'll see how it goes. Um, parts will be one line. Parts will be two, possibly. No, I'm not doing ARM. I'm just doing a 4K game <laughs> to begin with. I, I don't know C at all. So um, so hopefully I can... No, actually it is a port of a game. It is a port of yeah. a C64 you have game. To, you have to tease it a little bit. Yep. The yeah. C64 game that I played a lot and I love. Yeah. But I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh, not an arcade port. Mm. As far as I know, it's not arcade. Yeah. Not arcade. Uh, 32 banks of 4K. <laughs> uh, no. Um, <laughs> or are you talking about some other game? Um, so Andrew Davey did a screen cap conversion graphics of... Um, uh, I'll just show you. Mm. Um, I think I put it on the cartridge, so it should work on the system itself. Ready. And this is from the last show. Yeah, not an arcade port, just C64. Yeah, it just spins forever. So you'll never get that screwed on perfectly. That's okay. <clears throat> so press the button. Go. Oh. Hmm. Uh, it is the zero page homebrew thing. Nice. James and Tanya. No, I'm, I'm a little So don't scared. start it yet. No. Do mine first. There you go. Do yours? Yep. So. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> there we go. So Andrew took these screen caps of Tanya and I from the last stream <laughs> and converted them into a graphic binary. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. So, yeah, he has tools that he's made Yeah. that can take... Um, some sort of format. I think it's PNG or GIF. Okay. Um, and it is able to scan it into a uh, three frame, mm. I think. And it's updating red, uh, red, blue, and green. Mm. So that you get a, you know, approximation of... I mean, it's all the same intensity, I think. The red, blue, and green. It's not varied intensity. So, um so you get an approximation nice. of, of a picture, and it's not uh, not bad. Looks better if you squint. Yeah, the smaller it is, the better it, <laughs> <laughs> better it is. And it's quite big for us here. It's very cool. Now let's take a look at yours. He was able to capture us looking straight on. Oh, nice. Okay. He found it. He found a, a shot then, I guess. Ready. Yep. Bus stuffing. Mm, uh, no, I don't think many people are trying bus stuffing things right now um, because it doesn't work on every system. They haven't, uh, the powers that be yes. have not figured out a way to make it work in every system. Nice. There you go. Looks like you're wearing a bow tie. It I kind think of... it's a drink. Oh, it's coffee. Is that coffee cup? No, I no. that was when I had the, I had a tank top on that goes up to here. Really? Yeah, I must have had no, some. No, that's coffee. No, no, coffee no, no. Cup. This here, yeah. this here is, is my shirt. Yes. And then I have some, yeah, I think you're right. I think my cup is in my hand. Yes. I have, I have the cup in my hand. 
That's pretty awesome, though. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the outline, like you can the tell glasses. it's Tanya because there's coffee in the picture. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, it's my my Turks coffee. Yes. 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 Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought that was really cool. So yeah. thank you so much, Andrew. I like that. That's awesome. Wow. Step back a little farther, yeah. and it's very good. Yeah. yeah just squint and. <laughs> Turn your head to the side, and I love that. That's it, it has great. enough detail. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah, it does. Uh, it does. It's recognizable. Like yeah. it's amazing an Atari Twenty Six Hundred can do that. Yeah, it's <laughs> great. So, thank, well, so thank you. That's a fun, Andrew. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, on to the first game because I know the developers are in Europe. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. Someone um, mentioned, they said, oh, it's really early here. Yeah, <laughs> so. it's like two, almost 2.30 now there. So. Oh, okay. So they are, uh, mm. they're, they're staying up really late. Mm -hmm. So the first game we're going to be playing is Pit Cat. Mm -hmm. So that is very exciting. Um, so let's load up Pit Cat and give it a go. It doesn't miss anything. It takes a little while to kick in here. Oh, that's very loud. There's the title screen. Pit Cat. And has a YI. I'm not sure what that is. Um, so this is by Marco Johannes and Dyfed Hitchings. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Marco J and Jam Tech. So you can see Marco J. Uh, Marco Johann Johannes and DH, uh, Dyfed Hitchings. And I'm not sure what this SD is. What is that? Right there. Marco Johannes. Johannes, and what am I talking about? Dyfed? 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 I was gonna almost say David, but that's that's Welsh. Yeah. Dyfed Hitchings. Yeah, nice. she's Austra Australian UK. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, Jam Tax. Jamtex is in the chat with us. Oh, they're both in the chat with us. Excellent. Thank you for staying up. You are it's probably better for Australia. Yutaka right Isokawa. Oh, nice. Yutaka Isokawa. Oh, the... David. It is David. It is. Oh, it's Welsh. Yeah. Is it Welsh? <laughs> David? <laughs> is it David? David. Daffit. 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 Well, I just say that because my I've, I have Welsh cousins. Yeah. So my, One of them's named Daffit. My, yeah. Yeah. My, my female cousin, her husband's Daffit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Um, so this was anyway. first posted. Um, Gareth, very well. <laughs> this is first posted publicly July twenty third, two thousand eighteen, mm. and I actually did make a comment back then saying looks really cool, <laughs> mm. and they reached out to me recently and said, hey, it's done. <laughs> nice. Do you want it for the show? Yay. I said yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So this build is from June thirtieth, twenty twenty. It's brand new. It's a 16K uh, E7 game. I've never heard of E7 before, but um, we will get into that, I think. Uh, this is their only game, as far as I know, because um, they just joined Atari Age, so I don't have any record of them making any other games. Um, at least Marco J just did. I think Jam Tech's been around for a while. Um, so Pit, this is a port of... Everybody thinks it's a port of the Game Boy game, mm. but it's not. Oh. Um, it, the Game Boy game was Pitman, or Cat Trap. Mm. Um, it was actually created in 1985 on an MZ700 home computer by Yutaka Isokawa. That's mm. the name up there. Uh, and it was a basic program, and it was listed in a, a magazine called uh, OMZ Publications in 1985. Uh, but then uh, Game Boy put it out in 1990, and um, on level 77, there's a big M and Z um, in uh, homage to the MZ700 home computer, which I've never heard of. Mm. Never heard of that. There's a lot of home computers in the 80s. Mm. Um, and this is, anyway, in the Wikipedia article, this says it's the first game that has the rewind function. Okay. Ever made. Ever 1985. made. Really? Yeah. Wow. So like okay. decades before Braid and Braid Prince and of Persia those... and Blinks and yeah. all the other ones. Mm, that uh, is a very cool... Uh, still out? Yeah, sorry. Very cool. It's hard to tell because... Concept different... to be the first game to uh, incorporate. Yeah. Mm. Uh, 
M network. Oh, okay. Used um, the E7. Okay. So let's get into it. We have played games like this before. Hmm. Um, Millie and Molly is actually a playoff of that, oh. this game. Okay, cool. Um, not this game, but the original, mm -hmm. you know, Pit. What is it called? Pit. Pit. Pitman and Cat Trap. Cat, <laughs> cat Trap in North America and Pitman elsewhere. Pitman. Okay. okay, press button. So, you can play as two characters. Gotcha. Um, boy or girl? Boy or girl, cat. Okay. And, wait. Um, and on the screen, you can either start on the first level and play okay. through the min sequential order, which we will, or you can select the screen. Okay. Um, instead of just playing the first level, we're going to look at the select screen. Okay. Because it is beautiful. Look nice. at that little castle up at the top. Scrolls off the screen. Oh, I like that. Look all that. the levels oh, are there. Oh, there are a lot of levels. I think the are original we doing, one. We're we doing original, all 99. <laughs> the original one went to 100 levels. Does this start at zero or one? It starts at one. Okay, we're gonna start at one. Level one. Just everything is so nice and clean. So you got to get those guys. And push the boulders and get the guys. Level one done. Okay. So you did it in nine seconds. Did you just press a button? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought it uh, went away because you're quick on the button. We don't get to see screens. Okay. Um, gameplay from Wikipedia says Cat Trap is a puzzle game. Mm. This isn't Kill a Cat Trap. This is called Pit Cat. Um, the player directs the avatar, an anthropomorphic cat, mm -hmm. to navigate a room while clearing obstacles and kicking monsters and ghosts off the screen. Oh, a little bit of blanking issues there. It'll come back. Luckily, it's not an action game. Or not. Or not. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little bit upset. Oh, no. When it goes away from 262 lines. Can you see Pixel in the bottom... Uh... On the far right oh, side of uh, oh, yeah, the cat, cat cam, there. he's cat just there. he's just oh his face is on the ground. Okay, can you load it up? Sorry, he's being very cute. Yeah, you can see him. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, I'll try three again. Three again. Excuse me. Another tile-driven game. Yes. Yes. Like once you've got this tile, the game destroyed my system. Owl system, you have hell to pay. <laughs> Mm. Ready. Okay, what I'm gonna do is unplug the Atari box because we need that second controller anyway eventually. Okay. That may be freaking it out because you do use the second controller in the game. Oh, I see. So it might not like it? Yeah. So. Let's try again. It may be not mm. the program. Hmm. Oh no! What's happening? I don't know. Like, how can a game work and then not work? Hmm. We're gonna make this work. Because that is mysterious. I blame the cats. Yay, thank you, Muddy Funster, for subscribing. 13 months. Yeah, very odd. Very odd. Come on. You can, you can do, do it. it. Oh, no. We got two levels out of it. What the hell? That's really weird. Is it? Is it? No, it can't be. It's 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 booting in. Yeah, it's booting. It's just not booting the, the game anymore. It is, it is a technical issue kind of day today, isn't it? It's it's pixels fluffing things up again. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. What is happening? Come on, you can do it. You can do Look it. This. Look at this craziness. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's pink, pink screen. Don't break, don't break the Alzatari. No, no, we won't, we won't. Switch to a different multi-card, question mark? <laughs> um, I do actually have another 
Harmony Encore. All right. We won't do that just yet. Let's try this one more time. It's because my wine glass is empty. That's that's what I'm gonna blame it on right now. It also started raining outside. You can hear it coming down. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> the rain. It's like rain interference. You can do it. Come on, there's what? no noise. What is happening? Bizarre. Uh, okay, I'm getting more I'm getting more wine. <laughs> oh, leave me on my own while no, everything's going cats. bad. Thank you. You've got a cat? I'll be right back. Cats don't talk. I told you, the wine glass is empty. Okay, I do actually have another Harmony Encore card. Uh, that's a remote possibility the Harmony Encore card has died, but it is booting into the menu, which is the weird part. Does he, it doesn't use the Atari Vox. It actually uses a second uh, controller. How can a, a program go corrupt? I'm going to load a different program. Well, we know it's not the card. Kind of good. Nathan Strom, you have another system to fix now. Let's try a different, um, a different program. Let's try Hero by Activision. Hero works. Okay. That's super weird. Let's play Hero instead, hey? See if I can get a high score, get the patch. Okay, um, that's really, 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 really weird. Albert's on his own. <laughs> right. Uh, other programs load. Come here. Come here. Uh, I'm going to load Prince of Indiana, which is a huge, Come on. huge game that uses the encore part of it. Look, that works working no the system's working the cartridge is working Come just here. not his game oh no but we got two levels out of it so something funny the harmony has encore can't alter a game no we're gonna play this game because it's a okay. lot to say about it are you gonna are you gonna perform i was gonna d distract the audience Come here. self-destructing game are you gonna perform no what in the hell no 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 not right now Okay. Too much distractions. All right. Uh, okay. We're going to use the emulator because <laughs> we want to play the game. Doesn't make any sense. That's that's very strange. We got a couple of levels out of it, so. Like seriously, how does that work? Maybe you should recopy the game to the SD card. Maybe. I mean, that could be why, because it was working. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe the third level is a meta puzzle. That's right. <laughs> You have to solve uh, getting the computer working again, getting the Atari working again. That's the yeah. that's the puzzle. Okay, we're gonna try and copy it back on. No, 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 no. What is happening? No, I brought his bell oh. down. <laughs> no, they can't. There's see treats it. under the bell, so they can't see it. I know. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. Are you going to perform? Be a good performing cat? We've been teaching him tricks, but I'm not sure it's going to work, so. Come here. Hmm? Okay, so I have recopied the game no. No, it's not gonna happen. onto the cartridge. <laughs> and we're going to see what the hell's going on <laughs> with this ridiculousness? Okay. If it works, that's the first time I've ever seen a game go corrupt. Go corrupt? Yeah. Because it, it went corrupt, right? Kind of. It just it corrupted stopped. Itself. It stopped. No, it's dead. It's dead. What's going on? That's super weird. Oh, well. Emulator Unexplainable. Is. Yeah. Like, literally, I have no idea. Okay. Emulator. And Emulator uh, somebody is. can ponder uh, all that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out later. Um, Stella? Yeah. And load up 
Kit Kat. The rain is coming down. It's very rainy. It's like pouring, pouring, pouring rain. Are you going to play? Come here. Hit the button. And we'll get Pit Cat going. Can you grab a USB controller off the... Which, which one? Might be a coding error. A, uh, is that a USB? Yes. That'll be good. Okay. Open it up. Joystick zero. Like, is this not joystick zero? Seriously. Just do this quickly. Mm. I'm not gonna. Oh yeah, it's reading it as a different joystick. Right. Fire. Fire. Done. Oh, what? 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 Just. Oh, probably because. Up, up, up. Fire didn't. Fire didn't work. No. Oh. Something funny happened there. What are all these? There. There. Fire. There you go. There we go. Probably switch menus because it was mapped to something else. Oh my god, there we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Discord, this has been an evening of Discord. Oh, the computer volume is really loud. Sorry, guys. Oh, you clicked away? Yeah. Have to do the volume, because that's how this works. Why is this not working? Why is this not working? What do you mean? Oh, what is happening? <laughs> I just mapped. Yeah, you did just map it. Why is it not mapped properly? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it is chaos. Come on, kitties. Come on. Who wants to ring a bell? <laughs> ring a bell, get a treat. Hmm? None of them are now mapped. <laughs> it is mapped. Uh, okay. Well, it's not player one. We're going to erase. We're going to reset. Sorry, everyone. Everything was working, and then the Atari decided to go, no, I'm not going to play this game after two levels <laughs> for no reason and never boot up again. Close, kitten. Push the rock. Get the guy. 
It's working? Yeah, for, for this moment. At this moment, it is working. Okay. This very second. Excellent. All right. <sighs> Where were we? Yeah, fire button held down causes the screen to scroll. Yeah. I don't know why the fire button was continually being held down. It's probably the combination of Tanya pressing it at a time when I was pressing something else. And Maybe. Mo and moving out of a menu at the same time. That's what happens when two people are doing two things at the same time. Okay, now that it's working, let's get back to regularly scheduled programming. And I was all prepared today. Uh, okay. Once the player has knocked all of the enemies off the screen, they advance to the next level. Yay! Advancement grows difficult for players as increasingly intricate obstacles are present uh, presented to complicate the process over of overcoming all the monsters and ghosts. The game encourages trial and error. A player may try one combination of maneuvers by moving the obstacle in one direction, then they may find themselves trapped. The player could then hit the A button to reverse their movements. Not you. Not you. Not the A button there. <laughs> the second joystick. <laughs> That's on the Game Boy. Uh, only press that button. The other ones are mapped to weird things. Uh, trial and error make up a large portion of the game. Players can also create their own mazes. Not on this. Uh, there are a hundred levels for the player to clear. Only 99 in this. Hmm. Maybe you have to clear the 99th to get to the 100th? Maybe. Yep. So wait, who are the yellow dudes? They are the baddies. In the original instruction it says monsters and ghosts. Oh, so I guess they're monsters. Oops. So hold tight. I'm gonna find ah. out what. I need to restart anyway. So. No, nope. <laughs> no, nope, you don't. It's the level. No, you don't. F. That's what it is. Mm. So I can rewind. There's rewind in this. <gasps> there you go. Look at that. Rewind in an Atari 2600. Mm. How many games do you see of that? I don't. Not many. No, of any. We had re rewind on. Uh, Million Molly, but that was yep. a 7800, not the 2600. Um, nice tricks to accomplish eight different colored tiles in a row. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's all yeah, very smart. Level six. The music is fabulous, by the way. And we will get to how we did the yeah, music. Yeah, the music is so good. Uh, there are a hundred levels for the player to clear, each one more difficult than the last, with more room for error and typically take longer to complete. First level involves no obstacles, with one monster on the opposite side of the screen to knock off. The last level involves a blockade of boulders and a conundrum of ladders for the <laughs> player to move and navigate to clear several floating ghosts. Nice. Floating, that's what the ghosts are. Um, uh, the most difficult level with the smallest margin of error. So his post uh, in 2018 on the 2600 Homebrew Games Facebook group was an early video of, here's an early video of my Atari 2600 program Hitman, which he's renamed since then. It's a 1990 Nintendo Game Boy platform puzzle game that I'm porting to work on the 2600. The aim of the game is... Did bad? Mm. More? Mm -mm. I'm good. Oh, he's cuddling the bell. He's like, treats? You can miss Where are the treats? treats? <laughs> the aim of the game is to defeat all the monsters by pushing... See, this is bad. He's, doesn't under... he's no. like thinking that there's going to be no. treats. If, if he, has to, he has to ring the bell. Oh. If he rings the bell, he gets treats. There are treats right here. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Uh, the aim of the game is to defeat all the monsters by pushing rocks, climbing ladders, and digging through soil. So, so far, the graphics kernel main game development engine is working and the import of all 99 levels. Mm. Animation, sound effects, smoother screen updates, and hopefully music to go yet. The challenge with the 2600 is always graphics. In this case, the game uses a Venetian blinds kernel that can deliver an 8x8 set of 7x7 pixel tiles. Mm where each tile can be a different graphic and color. The kernel is possible thanks to... Oh, you kind of rang it. Oh, you rang it. 
Yeah? Ring the Sorry. bell. Kitty? Yeah. Um, thanks to an E7 bank switching formula, it allows 1K of RAM so that the video kernel runs in memory with the self-modifying code and 16K of ROM. Thanks to Video Chess for the inspiration for the video kernel. This is, uh, and then it goes off to show level 38. Nice. You have to ring the bell again. Ring it. And then he sent me some notes. Uh, the graphic engine is a progression of the video chess engine. Each row of characters is 128 bytes of code that is executed in RAM where both the color and graphic address can be changed. This allows a flexible tile. Also, the graphic can be collected from one of the E7256 RAM buffers, which allows three, 32 flexible tiles that can be changed between frames. That's, that's incredible. The playing field is a 16 by 16, which allows uh, scrolling similar to the Nintendo to do off-screen tile swap out on the 8 by 8 screen. The so I'm feeling the tile engine envy. Uh, yeah, this is a nice uh, tile engine, isn't it, Carl G? <laughs> it's very, very colorful. Let me do it. Um, the select screen currently implements off-screen drawing where you can have virtually limitless scroll of screen tiles. The 1K bank that the video engine occupies, then another 1K split into 256 byte portions. The important use here is both 1K and a single 256 byte RAM bank can be present at any one time in memory space. Are the tiles and text each offset by a line? Uh, each tile is offset by one, and each tile can have its own color, which works perfectly here because um, you have the characters are all different colors and the rocks are a different color. It's just gorgeous. Is, 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 oh. Oh. Thank you. Made a mistake there, probably. Carl G, are you going to completely redo your oh. penalt game? <laughs> hmm. You want to go back? No, 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 no. Let me think. Um, where was I? The result is frame by frame animation if the 1K code doesn't change. No. Please so that's do it. <laughs> really, really brilliant. Is that where you started? No, there. there. Not that much tile engine. <laughs> not that much tile engine envy. Yeah, Carl G's not prepared to completely redo this game. <laughs> Um, but it is very, very brilliant. He has basically programming. <laughs> yeah. He's programming this whole screen into RAM. And he's doing dynamic coding. There you go. There we go. Um, so that he changes the engine of the game every time because the Atari 2600 has very limited amount of RAM. Um, but he's using the RAM. Oh, good kitty! <gasps> good kitty! <laughs> <laughs> we all play games. <laughs> um, it, yes. And if you go to Pixel and Atari on Instagram, <laughs> yeah. you can see him doing Doing the game. bell ringing. Yeah, we'll have to show that. Pixel A-N-D Atari. Yes. Oh, he rang it again. Here. <laughs> Look at him! He looks expected here. Yeah. Um, the music. The music has been rearranged from the Game Boy music by isolating... Oh, he wants more treats. Monster. He's going to run out. Yeah. Uh, by isolating the channels from a Game Boy emulator and then keying in the notes into TIA tracker. tracker. That software is so good. There you go. I was amazed at the note selection TIA Tracker had for the scales uh, the game music was written in. Only had to make one or two octave substitutions in the whole soundtrack. You should hide that bell if you want to get any sleep tonight. Oh, we do. Oh. <laughs> is he out or is he up a lot more? He's got more out Okay, there. good. 
for when I'm trying to wing it, and he doesn't have any more. Um, and he said, I saw in the show it's awkward for you uh, to get up and hit the console buttons. Well, I make a bigger deal out of it than I need, <laughs> I need to. But, um... Oh, I'm just gonna do something here. Oops. Just the edge of that. That's better. Smart kitties, yes. Just, just the Atari. Pixel? Pixel Pixel's, doesn't care. Is he... Yeah, you can see Pixel in there, too. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Oh! <gasps> Oops. Did you mess up? Yes. I forgot that guy was there. Oh! That's okay. okay. You're gonna have to reset. You're yeah. way too far back. That's okay. Um... I want to highlight that it's possible to use a second controller fire button as a rewind undo button in PitCat, exactly like the select button. This should help in the harder stages. Also, some news on the carts. Um, oh, let's read the other thing out first. Um, so they're planning for this to be a freeware, Harmony Play only release. Oh, good kitty. Um, Although the code is 100% from scratch, it contains material from the Game Boy version that is rehashed from Nintendo. And based on the tracking record, I just want to make it for the community and freeware distribution. So this will be released for free for everyone! Hooray! Rewind. Come on. More? More. More? Yep. Kitty! Do you want me to start it over? No, no, stop, stop, stop. Um, the password engine is actually a first engineer version of the Game Boy game, but written in 6502 rather than Z80. The exact passwords are interchangeable between the Game Boy and 2600 version. So if you have a list of the Game Boy um, codes, it'll work on the 2600 version. Oh, good kitty! I don't know if you're doing it by accident or what. Um... So a release update on the carts, it looks like we may just have uh, the instruction manual and boxes available on Atari Age. So you'll be able to buy the manual and the box on Atari Age, but you'll be able to download the game for free because you can't really make the game. Uh, the cart's probably not going to be sold directly. Anyway, you'll still be releasing binaries on the Atari 2600 programming forum under the PitCat thread. Uh, I am pressing F to rewind, but that is the second controller's uh, button. He's kicking it. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, it's so rainy out. So rainy. Uh, on the level, next level, Contania plays Catboy. Yes, you've got to mix it up. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, play, I'll play as Catboy. Yay! Great music on here. And you can turn the music off and on as well, if you wanted to. I love the menu. The menu is so awesome and clean. Aww. Aww. Cute so if kitty. you switch to black and white mode, you can turn off the music. But we haven't heard this music, so. I like the music. Oh, that cat is so cute. It's a very gray level. Mm. Kick, kick, kick. Oh, oh boy. Interesting. Oh, I know. You have to build it up to get to that guy. So you have to put them all down there. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I know what you gotta do. It's not that hard. No. <laughs> down. Pixel and Atari, little pictures. <laughs> yes, very impressive game. Very, very polished. That is very true, Pack Rat. Um, like. Uh, the cat, what is, when he falls, his ears oh, go. Oh, does he? Do it again. I'll, I'll, oh, do I fall if I go there? Don't do that one yet. Oh, yeah, you could do that one. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, do that one. You will fall. But then I can't. Oh, I have to get out. Go to the right. No. And then you climb up. You have no, to. No, 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 no. Yes, I yes, need... yes. No, 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 no. This gonna... has to be on this side. Mm. Yes, it does, because I can't get back oh, to it. Oh, yes, okay, yeah, that's fine. So, oh, little flappy ears yes, as he falls. Yes, they're so adorable. It's so cool. <laughs> VHZC. There's been a lot of games like this um, in like the this past style? couple of years. Um, there's yes. Penelts now. So there's Pit Cat. Yes. Um, there's Robo Mechanic mm -hmm. as well. 
lot of tile based games mm. it's really really cool that there's yeah a little little screen flip goes on mm. and that's what killed uh the game last time I don't, i'm gonna have to get it working again like that's crazy it, it like destroyed something maybe the atari needs a rest <laughs> needs to cool down mm. next time you should try and select round 30. okay after this one we'll go round 30. Um, and actually there's another level. Uh, round 77 has a big M and a Z, um, in tribute to the MZ700 home computer. Mm. I don't know why I went on that side first. Did you make a mistake? Yes. There? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I love the, how colorful it is. Um... Because Robo Mechanic was all, it was all green. It was all the exact shade of green, I think, all the way down on every level. Mm. Um, I'm trying to think how Penalt is colored. You just got to be able to get out of that, right? Yeah, I'm definitely doing something wrong. Back? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm still thinking. Oh, you can kick with the button? You can kick, yeah. Is that with the button? Nope, but I just oh, kicking to the right. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Then you're fine. You're fine, huh? Really? Yeah, and then you go just get that guy. <laughs> Goes a little nuts when he gets the uh, I like it. Goes blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's consuming I, him. Everything's really slick in this game. He goes look at, off. Look at the little he goes off the screen. Cat. There's awesome. little animations. Yeah, everything's love it. really, really cool. Yep. You guys should read the 16-page manual. <laughs> oh boy. One second. <laughs> did I download the manual? Uh, did you guys? No, you guys oh. didn't pass oh, over I the froze. manual yet. <laughs> I thought you passed over. The, oh, you did pass over the manual. Should I print it out? <laughs> problem with emulation he's taking over yep oh yes oh yeah, yeah. it's a big manual <laughs> uh yeah how am i gonna do that let's see let's see if i can print it out nicely you're gonna print it out right now yeah <laughs> 16 pages uh no i can multiply the pages hi oh it's hard These two cats just chilling. Print on both sides of the page. Uh, yeah, that works. Is that bigger or smaller? I'll do that. There we go. Okay, it's printing out. We will read the 16 page manual. I'm gonna rewind. Okay. I think I messed you up. Yeah. Yeah, but Kay. the time doesn't go down to go back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't get a high score for time. Did you sec select? You didn't select round 30, like you said. Round 30. What? Sorry? He said select. Sorry. He said select round 30 next. Oh. Next? Okay. Oh, and it shows which ones you've done. Mm, oh, nice. very nice. I like that. <gasps> what ah, is this? Ah. Swap back and forth. I'm guessing it's the button you use to swap. Yep. Was it the button? Yep. Yep. Ah, nice. see? Nice. That's, that's the mechanic where we saw very, Millie very and Molly nice. as well. Yep. Can you grab the manual? Oh. Oh, it's not quite done. The cat. Atari is not a fan of the printer. Oh, this is small. Can you uh, read it? Yeah, yeah, not really. Uh, the cat small. is not a fan of the printer. Very small. We <laughs> always like to joke that... Um... Oh, look at the little ladders! different monsters yeah. oh my god this is amazing i wish they could put it out on cartridge it's too much too much stuff from the big n in this game how could you do it you'd have to make up your all your new level your own levels that's the problem mm. um you probably get away with the name pit cat because it's different it's maybe 
Because Cat Trap and Pitman, you probably have to name it something different because it's a... Little green guys are goblins? Let's see. Do we have the names of the things on here? Uh, they are... Frankie. Frankenstein. They're monsters. Corporeal monsters. Cor Oops. Oh, how did I manage So the that? Ca characters are cat boy and cat girl, oh. our heroes. Can you, can the you monsters we saw... Restart me. Thank you. The monsters we saw at the beginning uh, was mums, or mummy. Uh, and then there's Frankie and a, a Jawa. I haven't seen the Jawas yet. And... And then you become a ladder. Or a stepping stone. Clever. And then you do become a stepping stone again. Over on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a demon called Shades, which looks like a ghost. It's a floating demon. Mm -hmm. Floor blocks. There's shale, brick, cube, and that floor. That monster is called Frankie. Cute. Yeah. Like it. So go now to uh, level... 77. It's so arcadey. I love it. <laughs> so good. Yep. How could you keep this a secret for so long? Yeah. <laughs> and just keep it to yourself till it was like 100% done. It's like, that would, that would just kill me for two years. They haven't really talked about it for two years. I think they made three posts, the only ones I could find. Unbelievable. Mm. So you can see an M and then a Z right next to it. Yep, there's the Z. So that's the tribute to the original computer it was on. This is going to be a hard level. It's level 77. Um, there's rocks, stone, cement, rock, pushable blocks. Uh, the ladders are iron, wood, and copper. So those are copper ladders. Mm. And, and I've screwed myself, but that's okay. Oh! Restart? Yeah, I had screwed myself up. Yeah, and after this, I will work with you guys to make sure that it gets working again on the Harmony Encore. Because it doesn't make any sense. The only thing that is left is my system. Or the SD card, I guess. Because I did overwrite the file, but that doesn't make any sense. Very bizarre. So the passcode, I guess, is to keep track of which levels you've completed and which ones you haven't. Because otherwise you can skip to any level you want. But if you can keep track of which ones you've completed and not, then that's useful. Um, and so you can get your passcode, which is the out code, and the in code is where you put it in. Um, and it's cut like statistics for cat girl and cat boy, how, how tall they are. their address their address in memory i guess uh and their height is measured in dots that's so funny and their weight is measured in bytes in bytes yes oh yeah, this is so totally cute that's okay. subject uh, for cat girl is math and subject for cat boy is stonework completely stonework? over oh yeah no not terrible <laughs> uh, okay i've got to think about this favorite color for cat boy is blue favorite color for cat girl is pink favorite word is push Mm -hmm. Favorite word is stone. That's correct. It records the level completions in the password. Uh, can even skip levels. Uh, very cool. Uh, so the story is Cat, Burl, Cat Boy and his friend Cat Girl were on the way to a picnic with their other friends when they lost their way. They found themselves in a forbidden area of the forest that was inhabited by evil monsters and demons. They stumbled over a sleeping demon who stirred awake. He was so angry about being awoken from, from his daytime slumber that he put an evil curse on the two friends, turning them into cats. Okay. Uh, the horrible demon laughed evilly and went back to sleep. <laughs> As the children ran away through the forest, they came across a castle with a seemingly old man standing at the gate. He told them that if they went inside the castle and solved the puzzle in each of the hundred rooms, then the curse would be lifted. Yeah. What is the... It's really annoying that you have to do it. <laughs> I know. The two children then ran to the castle in their quest to lift the evil curse and get their picnic. Very 
very, very cool. This is this is an incredible. I mean, this is super hard. I'll give you one more chance at it, then we're gonna move on. It's puzzles. Take forever. Take forever. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fun for us and not fun for you. <laughs> So this is soon going to be released into the uh, Atari Age forums. Uh, there's already a PitCat thread in the programming, Atari 2600 programming thread. It's like, I want treats. <laughs> uh, could map the player one uh, fire uh, as one of the joypad buttons. Oh, that's true. But we're almost done. So, it's our last time anyway. stuck. Oh, no, you got some dirt there. And you're stuck. Oh, no, you're not stuck. You can get all the way up to that ladder. Yeah, I can kick that. one of these dudes down. Squish. Poor kitty. I don't know if this helps me. Uh, no. No, because I can't get back up and around. Yeah, you're done. If I could get up and around. You're done. Yeah, no, I think I'm. Jamtech says this is a really hard level. Can, I, can you reset it? I just want to try it one more time. Just one more. Okay. No. Let's see what else is on instructions. So the time does start over. Oh my god, it's got hours. Look at that. Got a digit for hours. That's intimidating. <laughs> I think we know all of these. Game tips. If you kick a gravel block, then it will be destroyed and will hold and you will hold up anything that was above it until you move. Be careful as you may trap yourself. Kicking a rock will cause it to move in the direction you kicked it. However, everything above it will fall down. Rocks will fall into pits and holes. Word of caution, you cannot kick a rock if there's something on the other side of it. Monsters may only be destroyed from the sides. You may step on top of them and let them fall on top of you without harm. Remember, cats can land on their feet. <laughs> that so, is always good. So do not worry about falling from great heights. They are also super tough. So rocks and monsters can uh, fall on their heads from great height. Cat boy and cat girl cannot jump. So do not try to fall into holes and pits. It's all good. All done. Yes. Oh, you should quickly see the outcode and encode page. Oh, yes, that's right. We will do that. So first go to the uh, outcode. outcode. So it shows your current code. Game, so, okay. So that's good if you want to continue next time. And encode. So you can input it up and down, left and right. Oh, I see. Uh, Ooh, look at that. Look at it fade in and out. See, it's those little touches. Little touches that make a game super awesome. Yes. You might be able to pick one that is actually valid. I doubt it. Oh my god, it keeps going. No, fail. How many, how many codes can there be? How many uh, letters can you put a on? Lot. Is that it? There's multiple codes, maybe. Multiple codes? <laughs> I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Keep going. I want to see cool. how long it is. Yeah, multiple codes. Weird, okay. Try it's like no. zero eight AA up to sixty four. Oh my god. Think out? Zero eight AA. So go to select. Ah. So it's mm. finished the first. 12 levels? No, the, just the first one. Okay. So that's like, it keeps adding on, I guess, mm -hmm. as it as it goes up. Mm. Very, very nice, and thank you so much for letting us um, play this game mm -hmm. and debut it on the it show. It is very fun. Um, very, technical very cool. difficulties off the top, but uh, we always have a way to buy that. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, so, 
Hmm? Incredibly cute. Very. Mm -hmm. And the cats, too. And the, and the cats, too. <laughs> so next game we're going to play is Prince of Indiana by GFVH. And this is a 2020 game as well. Mm -hmm. Brand new. Um, this build is from June 28th. Now, I tried this game on the Atari 2600. Okay. It kind of worked. It is a 128 kilobyte game, which is huge. That is huge. Using the super banking bank, bank switching, it's 32 times 4K banks. Now, it loaded, and it lets you play two of one screen only. You okay. cannot get past the first screen. Oh, it would just okay. loop and loop and loop. So I don't think it's bank switching correctly mm. um, for some reason on a real Atari. Mm. So we have to play it on the emulator. Okay. Um, because it is working correctly there. Good night, Jamtex. Good night. It's very yes. late for you. Thank yes. you for staying up. Thank you up. for staying up. If you complete the le levels linearly, the password will be four characters long. Skimming stages produces oh. all the passwords. So you're saying you can figure out the last... You can figure out the code. The I code yeah. <laughs> for completing 99 levels without yeah. completing them. Well, that's a big hint. <laughs> <laughs> so this game is called Prince of Indiana. Mm. And it is like any other game we've ever played on the show. Okay. It is very unique. The programmer makes games like these. Um, we've never played a game of his on the show. Okay. Because the other ones are crazy, okay. bizarre, <laughs> and I've never been able to understand them visually. Okay. This is, uh, I, I think, his best work. Okay. Um, and the most, you know, one that makes kind of the most sense to me anyway. Um, so, if you take a look at this, this looks like an animation yes have you ever played or watched um what's it called <laughs> um space ace dragon what is it what's that dragon one called um where it's animated it's on laser disc no in the arcade oh damn it why is the name escaping me Anyway, it's all done by animation, and you press buttons yeah. to go left, yeah, right, up, down. Mean. Yeah, I can picture it in my head. Yeah, Dragon's Lair. Thank, there it thank is. Thank you, thank you. So this game is... <laughs> Her, <laughs> you ran away. Very much like Dragon's Lair, where you input at the right time oh. what the character does. Okay. And I was looking at the code and That's running cool. it in... Ooh, sorry. Stella. Mm. And what happens here is each of these short animation sequences in, mm. is in a bank. Mm. And then when it goes, what the trigger does is it triggers another bank of animation. And on the 2600, it just was never getting to that next bank of animation, no matter what I did. Mm. Okay, so I believe it's just one thing. The button speeds you up. For some reason, they didn't give any instructions in, mm. in the... Atari H forums, or I didn't see them. Uh, button speeds it up, and right or left makes you do the thing. And when you get to a point where you die, it repeats that. No, not left. Not only left, I believe it does. And you die. There you go. There it says Prince of Indiana. Um, oh, it says right in here. I've been doing uh, this following my last game. It is mostly the same kind of game, like Dragon's Lair, where you must press a key to evade a danger. But I used the sprite of Prince of Persia. But I also wanted to do Indiana Jones Last Crusade, the action game. But I was lazy to do it properly. I established the setting of this Prince of Persia-like one in Indiana Jones game. The name of the game is Prince... Good kitty. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the game is Prince of Indiana. It's a stupid name. I was about to call it Vis Viscount of Persia, which is even more silly. And that is the name that appears in the source code. The other files referred in the text file are the same in the folder if you want to look at them. The file only shows the first level. I hope I can make more. And he has now completed. Good kitty. Oh, you're out of treats. Okay, that's, that's the last fine. little scrap. That's a very good ring of the bell. 
I don't know if you guys can hear the ring of the bell. The animation is very smooth. Um, so the next update, he says... Oh, we finished it. I don't even know what I did. <laughs> <laughs> the animation's pretty cool. I'm just like hitting buttons and then it's changing. It's um, very neat. I consider it's it finished. Simple. I made the last two levels. I hurried up a bit. I don't like to be near the end and have it unfinished. It could be more polished and needs some sound or music. He's just pressing random buttons now. On the joystick? On the joystick. He's, he's, oh. he's, he's hitting buttons on the... <laughs> he's like, treats. On the Sega Genesis. He's like, bing, bing. <laughs> we can teach him to press the reset. Like, yes, we can. <laughs> this is step one in a, in a multi-step training process to get him to reset. So James doesn't ha actually have to get up. The problem is that he will just keep resetting, <laughs> wanting treats. That's the problem. That's so cute. But he was cute. literally pressing he the was, joystick buttons. You are so freaking adorable. Yes, you are. That is pretty yes. smart. It's like, oh, that's a button. That's a button. Smack, smack. You're such a good cat. So, <laughs> let's load this up again. Uh, yeah, I didn't quite understand what I was doing. I was hitting things and it was changing the animation. Like it's, it's stuck in one loop. Yeah. Literally, you can press the button and hold the button at any time. No, not and the that's speeding not the up, yeah. but then you hit the left, and then it changes. Yeah, and that jumps off. Oh, you made it through that. Then you jump. You just keep hitting to the left. Actually, this that's not true. If you don't hit to the left on this one, you go down, which is what you're supposed to do. And he's breathing, and he gets a hat. And you jump on the rope. Of course, if you do it all correctly, you don't get to see the deaths. Is that a monkey? What is that? Oh, he's diving. Running he, up the stairs. Yeah, you don't get to see the fish or anything if you keep pressing the button. That's the problem. Oh, is that a snake? I died. Oh, oh. I don't know what that is. He's falling. He's dropped something. Now supposed to go down there, I guess. I'm supposed to jump it. Press beforehand. Oh, there you go. Stand. I love animations. You guys will be my commute home. <laughs> this is a very visual, visual one, though. Yeah. Yeah. Very smart, Kitty. Yes, you are. He's he's sitting there waiting. Look at him. <laughs> it's like I need a button. He's like I hit I hit the the Genesis controller. Where's my treat? Where's my tree? <laughs> Oh, it's so, Come here. This is a very short game. Um, so let's just start it over so you can see all the deaths. Because Tanya did it perfectly this time. Well, the first time I just kept dying over and oh, over. Oh, did you? So, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't so, died over and over. So they did see all the it deaths. It definitely would be captured in there, yeah. Okay. So, very cool. Yeah, it is very And that's very a death smooth. going through, like, a gate that comes down him? Uh, no, he jumps through it and then... He hits the stat, the the cross or something. He's breathing and he just collapses there mm -hmm. if you don't do anything. And that one's automatic. And then you just, he just keeps getting the hat if you don't press anything. Yeah. And that you one. Run. You have to jump. You up. have to jump because you, have to you hit die. Up. It, up. There you go. It's just one button to the left. Uh, oh yeah, no, it wasn't working for Climbs me. Climbs a rope. Very bizarre. And you have to do a Swing hook. Swing across. That's, I don't know what that is. And then and you it, get eaten if you don't hit the button. Right. So, but if you do hit the button, you swim to the end there. And you run up the stairs. Run up the stairs forever if you don't hit the button. And then you jump across. Lightning fries you on that one if you don't hit it. And then you hit it. You, you swing across and you hit something and then you have to jump, jump that. And the fish is back if you don't jump over. What is that? No idea. You have to press it. It's like dynamite? I don't know. I don't know what that is. And then you Some of the cross. screens are the same because yeah. they used that one before. That repeats. I can't come but here. that's okay. that's kind of the good thing about this. You can branch to different places. Yes. And you can reuse screens. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very cool. Oh, come on. You got so many treats, buddy. 
so many treats. So that oh. is. Are you happy? Good. Very unique game. Very fun. That's very cool. I like um, the simplicity of it too. Yeah, it's one button so game. So black and white, and the yeah, just clicking your way through like a little story. So he's he's done other games, a bunch of other games like that. Mm. Um, one that was a takeoff of a biker game that was called Full Throttle. He called it Full Bottle. Mm -hmm. um and it was a fmv game where you just directed things um but that that one was very hard to understand what was going on this one was a bit easier to understand but if you like this style he does have a couple more games like this mm -hmm. uh, that you can look on the atari age forums for and that was uh gfvh mm -hmm. uh the next game we're going to be playing is snakes and we can actually play this on the actual 2600 which is makes me happy <laughs> plug back in the Atari box. I like the sound it makes. With, so you know, yeah. Things are working. <laughs> I'm going to investigate that after the show. What's going on with that sound? Where's the sound? Oh, I want it completely. Atari Fox Plus. Ready. <sighs> okay. Back to the Atari 2600. Mm. Okay, grab the joystick. Please load it up. Our beautiful joystick here. That we made. Yes, which we're enjoying using. It's actually it's uh, really nice. Been hey, Mr. Fix. Good. Welcome to the show. Yeah. So this is Snakes by. Oh. I can't to, see. Need it. to see it on the screen. <laughs> nah, you it don't need to see help. it. It does help. By Robin Sargent, uh, aka CPC four six four kid, and I thought I saw him in the chat earlier. Um, so this is first, yeah. first posted uh, June twenty eighth, twenty twenty, and this build is from July third, twenty twenty. Today he did an update on it. It's a four K game. Terrible. Uh, this is his only game Terrible that he's made. Game. Are you? Uh oh. Um. I'm having PC flashbacks right now. It's <laughs> awesome. We, from Wikipedia, this is a snake type game. It's, snake. it's a genre of game. Of course it is. Snake. Uh, snake design dates back to the arca uh, arcade game called Blockade, uh, which was developed and published by Gremlin in 1976. Yeah, that sounds about was right. Was the first snake game. I just need Minecraft now. Oh, this is terrible. So I'm going to show everybody... <laughs> Uh, the first snake game that was ever made because I did not know that it came from the arcade. That did it snakes. really? I thought it was like uh, a PC game. A PC game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Windows 3.0. Yeah, I don't really know. 95, Win 95 maybe. Well, I remember trying to make a Tron light cycle game on my Commodore 64. So it's as old as that. Yeah. If you think of Tron light, light cycles and it's kind of snaky. But yeah. your tail just stays and keeps going. Yeah. Right? But like snakes. Yeah. Win, win 95. Win 95. Win 95. I think so. So this is the arcade game mm. called Blockade. Oh, I said pause. Oh my God. I hate when computers don't listen to you. You click and it's like, no, you didn't click it right. <laughs> That's not right. Oh. What are we on still? Oh, we're still on the, we're still on the snake screen. So. There we go. So this is a uh, blockade in the arcade. By Gremlin. Apparently recorded at 60 frames a second. So this would be probably uh, one player against the other, or maybe uh, yeah, the or computer a, against yeah, the AI, person. If yep. You can call it that. Um, and the Guinness Book of World Records 2010 Gamers Edition um, declared that the mobile version of Snake is the most played game on the planet. Mm -hmm. um, an estimated 1 billion people have been making monochrome lines grow since the title was created for the old Nokia 6110 in 1997, which they have wrong, of course, because this predates that by a yeah. billion years, uh, by 20 years. Wow. Um... Allegedly, it only went on the phone 
I, I guess they're counting just that game. That one game is the most played game by one billion people. Wow. Um, allegedly, it went on the phone because they had some room left in memory and wanted a fun extra to fill it. By 2005, the game was on 350 million handsets. That's big distribution wow. for a game. That is huge. Oh, no, Snakes! I was not Windows 95. It was on my tiny little phone that I had. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's where everybody first probably saw this game. Um, Which was also in, in mass. On mass, yeah. Most, most phones had this game on it because it was really, really simple. The phone could display it because yeah. it's just blocks. Very simple. Because it's just a bunch of blocks and a block I know you have I had to get. a little Kyocera flip phone back in the day. It was an arcade game named Nibbler, which yes. put a snake in a maze. Yes. yes. Sort of like Surround, yes. Mm -hmm. I never knew it was an arcade game before this either. Yeah. And that's the programmer of, of <laughs> Snakes. So yeah. everybody learns something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So that's very... Uh, I like looking up... Well, the like history the, of these games, because the they're very simple and they're very popular. Man vs. Snake. Did we watch Man vs. Snake? I think we did. The Nibbler one, where the guy's trying to... Well, I did anyway. It's I don't know if video I did. Movie. I don't know if I saw that one. It was pretty good, actually. Where was I? I, don't know. I don't <laughs> How know. do you watch movies that I don't see? I don't know. Oh, and before we go to that, there's one more thing that I want to show you. It's from a channel that I watch. It's about this guy who makes... AI programs. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. plays video games. Yeah. That's all he does. Yeah, it's a really, really amazing, interesting. Uh, and I thought, YouTube. oh, perfect! Somebody made a snake game. Yeah. Because this guy d did a show about AI playing snake, and yeah. this guy's channel is called Code Bullet, and he. I'm just gonna mute it. Yeah. Because he talks. And he swears a lot. <laughs> a lot. Um, so he taught um, a PC to solve Snake mm. um, for like the whole screen, like up to the last dot. Yes. Because it always, in Snake, it always puts the dot in an in a open space. Yeah. So if you've got it playing perfectly, it'll put it in the second to last space and then you move to that space and you've completed the game, right? So he he goes through and uh, let's see if I can show you really. And then he speeds it up because he wants to. Yeah, because he, he, he basically has different iterations like, so the, evolve. Yeah, so it learns. It learns as it goes. Look so, at this. So it's chasing its tail. Like, there he goes. He won. <laughs> Let's go back on that one just a little bit. So pretty... he basically fills the screen with the snake, and that's yes. that's success. But the AI has to plan out that I have to make sure I don't, don't destroy corner my... Corner myself. Corner myself. That's <gasps> the thing. That's amazing. I, should, I never can corner myself. Yeah. Uh, the version of on the Astrocade is a four-player at the same time, so that's more yeah. like Tron Light Cycle. Um, yeah, multiplayer is fun. And there's mm. been other, other multiplayer games. We, I think we've played games on the show i know i played one with darcy um where it was a two-player game like this mm. um and then he makes it like even bigger let's see where's it's crazy but it's amazing that he's basically <laughs> teaching how to play a computer how to play it perfectly yeah it looks like chaos it does. Like a human person, a human could but, not do this. But properly. you're you're chasing your tail the if whole time. If it was time. slow enough, you could. But um, yeah, you're you are chasing your tail because that's you have to have space have, at your tail. And the tail is opening up, the new space. So you have to constantly. He may have screwed himself there. No, he makes it this time. Does he? Oh. But no. What is it? Oh no! This is right at the end. Oh, I think that's him just showing. Oh, this is this is funny right here. He messes up this last one. He makes it. He almost makes it. Like something went wrong with his code. Mm. Um, and it. But he's off by one. <gasps> oh, ugh. of course I skip ahead and it's too far. Too far. He's probably talking about how it screwed up. There. He died somewhere over there yeah, on the left. Yeah, because he left two two little little yeah little pixels of space. Yeah, and he anyway, couldn't chase his tail anymore. It's it's 
yeah, he's pretty fast. So. I typed in the version published in Compute Magazine into the C64. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> nice. It, it's probably a, a more simple, one of the more simple games to yeah. program on a computer. Yeah. So I can see why that would be a typed in one. So here we go. Lay this again. Try it again. Move. There we go. Uh, I see he hasn't fixed the dot because I, I told him that in the forums that I played it and one time the dot appeared on my tail. And I said, is that a bug or a feature? Because it could be either. It's a feature. Because eventually your face. tail will move off the dot and then you can get it. And I said, the face is so cute. And it even eats it. It goes, nom, nom. Huh? Oh, you guys can't see it. You guys don't need to see it, do you? No, you guys don't need to see it. There we go. Yes, I think I know why I'm not checking if it lands on your head. Oh. So you're just not checking the one one space that it could be. Ugh. So close. Well, I know I do that a lot in this game. So, hi, I'd like to share my first Atari project, which is a little snakes game. I'm sure, I mean, just the little touches of the color is I know, is the great. colored face is super cute. And the, and the shaded scores at the top of the high score and the current yeah. score. Like I said, it's those little touches that take nothing to program on the 2600. Changing colors is like easy, easy, easy mm -hmm. for the 2600. So easy. Um, so why not do it? And, and making a different colored um, character, I mean, it takes up a little bit more... Um, uh, cycles but if you have the room that's the result it's it's gorgeous um i've done this i'm sure this has been done before but i as i wrote one year ago for windows it seemed like a good place to start uh the major challenges were finding enough memory to maintain a longish snake and having to manipulate the playfield registers on every scan line whilst also drawing a couple of sprites so the tail is playfield and uh, the face is a sprite. And I'm guessing the little dot is a sprite. We could have made it anything, but we could have, might, might as well make it a sprite because there is a sprite free. Uh, I originally started using a linked list to maintain the snake's body requiring two bytes per segment, but quickly started running out of RAM. Yeah, very small amount of RAM if you're just doing a 4K um, bank switching. This is most obvious algorithm for a computer, but n clearly not for the 2600. I now just use an ordered list, one byte per segment. All this is outdated, he's changed it. Which is reshuffled whenever the snake moves to maintain the order. This is very inefficient. But the CPU has nothing else to do at the end of a frame, so it actually makes sense. I'm starting to get into the mindset of programming this thing. The play field is limited to a 16 by 16 grid for obvious reasons. Four bits for X and four bits for Y allow any position to be represented by with one byte. The maximum size of the snake is around 75 segments long, which makes things reasonably challenging, I hope. Now, I don't know if he's changed it. Yes, that's the player two sprite. Excellent. Um, have you changed the length of the snake tail, uh, CPC 464 kid? Oh, that's a long name to say. Because I think I can make it to 75. You can? Yeah, because I, when I just was playing around testing it, I made it to 60. And I didn't find it too challenging just because there's a lot of room on the board um i've not added a proper game over or you win sequence yet but we'll restart if you die if you stop moving if you win by scoring 70 points oh you win by scoring 70 just push the joystick to start the game now it's about 200 oh never mind Ugh, damn <laughs> oh and you restart immediately that's another thing you should put in a uh, little pause after you die Ooh. Because you, it restarts right away and it's very confusing, mm. right? So just like a, a two separate second um, pause loop where it doesn't look for input. So I don't know if I'll make 200, that's for sure. <laughs> 200 is a lot. <laughs> um, comments and suggestions are welcome. It's been a fun learning exercise for me and I've really enjoyed doing some retro coding. This is a great a great first game to start on because mm -hmm. it's fun it's relatively easy to code there's some some challenges which is good to have some challenges when you're coding but uh coding in assembly is is challenging in itself just just to do that and understand everything oh, it will have some enough. sort of game over effect one day 
Uh, is the object placement pseudo-random? Yes, pseudo-random. Um, I believe now he says he checks the tail, that it doesn't land on the tail. Yes. But gotcha. he doesn't yet check whether it lands on the head. So, yeah, technically, okay. therefore, it lands on the tail after. Yeah. <laughs> but not right away. Uh, so he did an update today. Play field is now one-third wider, so it's 24 by 16. And the maximum snake length is more than double at 200 segments. There we go. 200 plus segments. All thanks to Andrew Davies' very clever storage optimization idea. I'm now just using two bits for each segment by storing movement values instead of locations. Very smart. Known issues or bugs. Random number generator does not yet cover the extra screen area. So the dot will always be inside, never on the outside portions. Mm. Uh, it still works within the 16 by 16 grid. Um, the score will now wrap around if you exceed 99. So it's an only a two digit score at the moment. So he's using 24 playfield uh, areas. So that would be the like 16 plus 8 more. So you're using the middle 16, or the 8 and the 8, and then 4 and 4. Yeah, it's very, very clean implementation. Uh, Danny VC says it looks nice. Uh, oh, Andrew Davies here. Welcome, Andrew Davy. Uh, one of the first games I ever wrote, so I was pleased to see somebody writing this. <laughs> ah, excellent. So you can give lots of hints. Yeah, it's a very, very clean implementation. I like that it's not just a like a blob for his head. Yeah, it is. It's, it's got a cuteness well, to it. Well, it's got that rainbow uh, pattern on it, too. Yeah, and very soft colors. And you can see the output is is gorgeous the colors are gorgeous the black is dark i fixed all the colors so it looks proper now thank goodness that mm -hmm. was that was haunting me and it, and it got out of control last last episode yeah you were very upset with i was it. like oh the colors are crazy and then i fixed them and then play the next game and then they're all off mm -hmm. but now i went back to the frame meister and fixed it at the source which actually cleaned up the picture a lot I don't know if you can notice, but the picture is really, really, really clean now. Must have been tough timing oh. to get the non-symmetric play field. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now it's my turn to go. Okay. Time to try and get 200. Good luck to me. Mm -hmm. I think you'll get 200. No. No? Um, if I figure out, like, the pattern... Have ran into my own tail there. I wonder if the uh... the game seems more responsive now than when I played oh, it really? initially. I, I the find first build. I find the um, the joystick mm -hmm. more awkward than like a gamepad a for this. Yeah, yeah, a it's less sensitive, so um, so you you tend to over under correct a little bit. It's spinny. Oops. Oh, yeah, you went into the wall. I pressed I pressed the wrong direction. Yeah. But this I was trying to demonstrate how spinny it is by mm -hmm. spinning it, but it actually went up. Um, so he's using I love his, that little the little face on it. I dude. think that's wonderful. Yeah, and he pauses just as he eats. Yeah. So it he actually does. helps you get out of a jam. A little bit. If, and it's a little... prepare your next direction. Yeah. Yeah, I think I prefer something without so much room to move. Yeah, there's a lot of a um, lot of movement. There's here. a lot of give in the in the in the joystick, so. I'm guessing it adds one extra tail length. Every yes, every every bit? every bit. Every little apple he's eating, or yeah, whatever it's supposed to be. He's eating bits. <laughs> Is he? <laughs> well, he's adding two bits every time. 
Ah. Uh, see, it's very sensitive. Uh, yes, it is. Mm. Got to at least beat your score. <laughs> what was my and score? Thirty-seven. Yeah. Yeah, this is not the best joystick for it. I don't like the spinning top to this joystick. I want to fix that. Unfortunately, oh. taking apart this <laughs> to, to, to this box is a little annoying. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, because to, the, get, to actually get it solid, the nuts yeah. fall out <laughs> if you yeah, take it apart really easily. Like the whole thing kind but, of falls apart. But I mean, in a way, it allows you to take it apart pretty easily. Yes, which is it an just, advantage it's just and disadvantage. Getting it back together is a little bit more challenging. Sensitive. So it is very cool, though. Can you read out the chat? The people are saying things. Uh, Andrew Davey, um, higher levels you can have the fly or whatever whatever it is moving around. Fly? Oh, yes, moving yeah. around. And rather than dying when you hit yourself, just keep running, but don't allow the head to move. You yeah. have to wait for the tail to keep getting shorter until you can finally move again. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's a good option. That is cute. I've never so heard, it's of, heard big that. penalty. Yeah. And your score would go down. Your, yeah, exactly. Back down. That's a painful penalty. Uh, yes, the non-symmetrical play field is a pain to get right with sprites. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Use the button of... as an accelerator. Yeah. Oh, yes. You can do that too. Yes, that's a very good suggestion. In case yeah. you're on a, like, waiting, 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 and mm. you don't want to wait anymore. Like, when I was going, I'm going down here, it's like, oh, I could get there a bit faster. It's, it's pretty fast. Like, the, it doesn't take you long to traverse the whole yeah. screen. But it's a good option. Ugh. Scary doing those double turns. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go this direction. There. I've beaten you. Yay! Always leave a path out, mm -hmm. a little edge. Play this on your phone? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Didn't have those. it on their phone back in the day. Yeah. Like a flip phone Kyocera with a. I never had a. F typing I through A B C one two oh, three. God. Oh, Terrible God. for texting. Oh. That's yeah. that's why texting didn't really take off in North America yeah, until it was actually typing typing. I had a friend and she a was she worked for Nokia in Finland for a while and. Uh, uh, I remember visiting her and seeing like a prototype phone that they were working on, mm. and uh, she was talking about how much more they they texted in Finland and in Europe in general than they than we did in, in North America. Yeah. Like it, it took a long time for people to like really get into texting. Oh yeah. Compared to Europe, where people just like she's like no one calls each other. Everyone just texts. that's how it is now. And now yeah, yeah, but in North America it took a little bit longer. Yeah. Ooh, perfect placement. Because we all had those horrible flip phones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had a, not a brick phone, but the one that's As down close to from a brick? a brick. Yeah. Did it have a little flippy bottom? Like it was oh, like God. that high and then it had an antenna and a flippy bottom? Ah! Oh, no, 68. That's pretty good. You doubled me. <laughs> yeah, I'll retire on that. Yeah. I was a Nokia, <laughs> too. I remember having a friend who had one in the early 2000s, like that with the flippy bottom, and we just mercilessly made fun of him because he had it for like <laughs> oh. i don't know since like the 90s now you and can't it had tell. that little flip bottom so now yeah. you can't really tell what phone people have well they're much. just little little black bricks shiny black glass bricks. Yeah. black bricks that's all they are yeah they're not different anymore there's not they flips, all look the there's same. no antennas there's, there's no, no key keyboard there's, there's no nothing. flip out keyboards no they're just black nothing. bricks of various sizes i mean that's cool yeah. it it all evolves right yeah Love i had a pager to... yeah kev kelly <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had friends who had pagers, but I never had one. That's you'd have to be a very big socialite to have a pager. Yeah. Uh, love how you almost have to plan your moves when you get so you do. You have to plan your escape almost and leave yeah. room. Yeah. Uh, CBC four six four. Thanks. First time I ever seen it on a real machine. Stella is really useful for showing frame rate, though. Mm. Yes. Yes. Display is very clean. Yeah. 
So the next game we're going to be playing, the next and last game, is Cross Dock. Nice. Yay. This is a good game. I like this game. And mm. he's done. Quite a, big, quite a big update, actually. Ready. Um, he's added some mini games to it. Oh, really? Yeah. There were different versions, right? If, if I recall correctly. Different. I don't know. Or each level changed? I can't remember. There were some. There was a bonus level. There was one bonus level before, but now he's added a bunch more. Oh, okay. So this first posted. May, you can load it up. May sixteenth, twenty twenty. This build is from July first, twenty twenty. A couple days old. Uh, it went from eight k to now sixteen k. F six. Yeah. Um. So don't run array. Don't run just yet. Okay, this is one of the bonus games. But, <laughs> I found but it. But you. Uh, Missed something. Um, other games, Bag Boy and Cross Dock. So this is kind of his tribute to Bag Boy. Remember the game we played? Um, Let's just do with this. the uh, ah, carts. Well, yeah. you got ahead of yourself. Yeah, with the carts and you have to return them. Where this is kind of a mini game. Return it to the thing yeah. at the top. <laughs> so just go to the left. No, don't press the button. Just go to the left. There you go. So this is the carts. Gotcha. So this is one of the bonus. Trolley volley. Trolley volley is another one. And Doc Boy is the last one. So now you can Very cool. play around with it. So um, what, what do you want me to play first? So message from Kev Kelly today. Um, you can do the bag, the um, the first one. This one? No, not this one. The carts. So you take it from the bottom and return it to that top green thing. What? The top green thing? The thing that's moving back and forth. There you oh, go. You gotcha. have a point. Um, so he messaged me saying, unfortunately, I'll be working today, but hopefully you have a wonderful show. Here's a new bin with some tweaks. I mostly fixed uh, an issue uh, with the trolley volley mini game, where the box almost always shot to the right. Also, to start gameplay in it, the player zero has to push left, or the player one has to push right at the beginning of each point awarded. Oops, I did. Um, so this update for this carts have minds of their own. Yeah, no kidding. I want zero pages wrong collection. <laughs> <laughs> it's extensive it is pretty big um and it's got like every build of every homebrew game ah. at least in the last two years let's say um before that um i have just collections of things that i've found and yeah it's it's very large um so this is the july 1st minigame update uh so i had to Thought I had finished 98% of the game with most, if not all, the main bugs root, rooted out, leaving just some tweaking. As for the most part, everything runs fine, leaving me the tweaking to do. But then I let my son play the game, found a few more bugs, but I would still share the most recent build. As I had mentioned in the previous post, I expanded it to 16k and added a bonus round that featured Dock Boy unloading a truck outside the loading area while avoiding various animal and environmental obstacles. Mm. After James's comment regarding the bonus round looking almost like a standalone game, mm. it got me thinking how difficult it would be to insert a few lines here and there and make it a separate mini game. I thought it sounded like a fun challenge to see if I could figure out, and to my surprise, it wasn't that hard. But. Since the lines of code that I needed to make a standalone minigame were only a couple hundred bytes, I had plenty of space, so I had a couple more other game ideas that were simple and I thought I could implement were using some of the code from the main game, such as sprites or movement code. This is something I used to love in old games growing up, like being able to play the melee in Star Control, so I thought it would be cool to add. Uh, I added two other minigames, one where you took the code from my first Batari Basic game, the original Bag Boy, cleaned it up, and then added some things that were from the, my notes two years ago, as well as a couple elements similar that was in Cross Dock and the new Bag Boy. The other is a Pong game. Here's a brief description for this one. Carts. Grab a cart, dodge the cars, return the cart to the moving cart corral at the top of the screen. As you play, some varying obstacles will appear. Have you seen some other obstacles yet? No, just these, these guys running back and forth okay. here. It's funny that they they kind of the blocks dodge around each other. Have you noticed that when they when the um, kind of brown like there the brownie green and the gray one? Does it does your score go down when you lose one? No, it uh, the green thing goes down. Oh okay. Oh, kill uh, myself. Okay. Twenty five. So let's go to trolley volley. The next mini game. Yep. Trolley volley is a pong game. <gasps> Cute. I was originally going to call it Cart Pong, 
I remembered that was mentioned uh, about Joust Pong. I looked for a retail themed alternative. Seeing my Pong clones had many volleyball and tennis variations. And some call shopping carts trolleys. I found the name fitting and fun. Trolley volley. This is a two player only game. Each player controls a bar. While the cart trolley bounces back and forth, Doc Boy can be seen dropping boxes. If you hit the box with the cart, the box kind of enters the play and will bounce back and forth. If a player misses the box, their bar will shrink. The status bar shows which player is winning their round and will change color based on who is in the lead. You can also grab the trolley, move up or down, and release it. Ooh. Ironically, yep. it's always hitting the other side at the same point. Yeah, it's a perfect DVD bouncy thing. I can't see what's happening on screen because okay. you're blocking it. So Because it's a two-player game, not a one-player game. Okay, we have to die because... Badly. Well, you keep blocking the screen, so that's going to happen. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now we'll play. Okay, I can move up and down. I can grab the cart. Oh, it didn't work. Let's see. Can you? Oh, there we go. I don't know how long I can grab it for. It's pretty slow anyway. Oh, oh my god. Whoa. Oh. oh, it got by you. Hmm. What if it gets faster? It's fairly easy to get. Oh, that was close. Oh, oh, I did miss it. Some crazy sounds in this. Yeah, I like the sounds. Yeah. Oh. Nice, nice addition. Oh, look at that. Scrape it along the bottom, it'll uh, go. Oh, didn't work that time. That was a funny little bug. I would keep it in. <laughs> a little easy to catch, though. That works on the top. No. Why is my thing getting smaller? I don't know. Because I, I miss keep it? hitting boxes your way. I've, oh. I managed to hit a couple of boxes your oh, way. Oh, are you supposed to? Yeah, because if oh. I hit the box, it hits you. Okay, okay. That's why you have to grab the cart. It's hard to, it's hard to hit oh. that box. <laughs> the oh, noises can... are great. Oh, you can do it with your... When you're grabbing it, you can kind of make music. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh! Something happened there. <laughs> I think it's this joystick. Yeah? Yep. Like short out or something? See? I unplugged the joystick and it came back. I think these joysticks mm, do something. They're not powered though, are they? They do power. They are powered. They do power. Look, it's come back. Weird. I don't think I'm going to be using those joysticks anymore. Well, that's anymore. okay. Is that the only two-player yes. game? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. You, you saw it. It's very cool. So let's look at Doc Boy. Doc Boy is the zero-page homebrew-inspired standalone that is basically the bonus round from Cross Dock, nice. but with some minor changes. Basically, you have never-ending trucks to unload from an outside dock. Mm. I, and then James destroyed the 2600. Yep, yeah, that Genesis. I like them, but obviously they are bad. They, they do some bad things. Um... Basically, you have a never-ending trucks to unload from the outside dock. I think each truck has about 14 boxes on it. He thinks. He programmed it. <laughs> that you must unload, but must avoid the various animal and environmental nuisances. Whoa. <laughs> it gets all big. So there's a bird. Green bird. Dropping down. So you have to unload the truck. Why does it end up on the ground? Oh, something dropping down. Birds are pooping. I can't pick it up. What? What? Why? What am I missing here? What am I missing? Oh no, it's on the ground. You ran into the yeah, birds. Yeah, but I, I can't, I can't pick it up. No, what am I missing? Please tell me how, how no it works. There's no instructions for that. No, you have to go back to the screen. Oh, I have to go back to Doc Boy. Yeah, that's the full instructions. I read that. You just because just, I go up. Yeah. And I can pick it up. Go down. And then it drops it immediately. I think you have to go up and then go down and then move it across oh, down. Oh, that's. And then 
put it back up. Okay, there we go. Okay, thank you. That's I'm gonna have to avoid those. I thought no, I thought it was just the box that I was avoiding. The snake can't touch the box, but you cannot move the box while the forklift is up. So you have to unload the box and lower the box. And then lower the forks. <laughs> that makes a lot ah. more sense, yeah. Oh, Kev Kelly has joined us. That is Kev Kelly. Ah. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. That it makes doesn't more get sense. faster, but I thought the shrinking bars would make it harder. It it does. It definitely does make it harder. Does a button come into play at all? Yes. Or do you, you have to pick it up and then pick it up and hold the button. Yeah. Ah. That's what that's what's confusing is you have to push the button to pick it up and keep holding and then it. you drop it immediately. <laughs> you drop it immediately. Yeah. And I'm then like, you have to pick it up again with the thing lowered. No wonder my package is always damaged. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It falls Amazon on, falls on the ground. <laughs> you have to, so you have you have to, to push the button. the button, and then it drops it, and then you have to pick it off the ground. That's what was confusing me because it feels like you should be able to pick it up, and then yeah. Get out of there, bird. Oh, very cool. Lots of different movements, though. Yeah, very big variety of movements. It's pooping at a regular rate. So. Okay, so I know why it now. falls. Yeah. Go to it. Then press down, then, then press move down. over. Oh. But if you move over without pressing down, it'll throw it on the ground. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is appropriate. We have magpie birds swoop attack us like that in Australia. Yeah. Um. We. Ah. My, my parents always used to have swallow nests by their house in in Ottawa, and um, they would dive bomb you. Were like they, they were, yeah, swallows? they would have swallows and they would make a nest and it was always by our garage and you'd get out of the car and they were pretty vicious. Look, spider. <gasps> ah. Oh. Oh my goodness. That's very cool. Is spider venom? This way? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Spider venom. Um, and so, yeah, Whoa. that reminds me a bit of swallows. They would just dive bomb you. We'd get out of the car. Spider's they, a good one. They would they would come out. Really you. great enemies. Yeah. I like the dripping venom and bird poop. <laughs> Lots of birds in big warehouses too. Once they get in there, yeah. they get out. They are protecting their babies, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, dropped it. <laughs> Did you get penalized for dropping the boxes? I don't oh, think so. Die. Oh, I think just. as long as, but if if one of the um, animals hits the box, you also die. Ah, uh, so you. So if you drop the box, the box, and that's too. why I was like, what what's going on? It's I'm I'm not in the way, but it's hitting the box because I kept kept dropping the box. Does it stay in the same creature until you die? I don't know. Because that it would, hasn't changed. Has because it? the spider is relatively easy compared to the other ones. Yeah, the three at once. Because they're very, it's it's very. Oh, I'm dying to nope. It's a very simple pattern. Oh, dropped the box. No. Oh, I was on the wrong side. How do you score go up when you die? <laughs> yeah, those are challenging. Yeah. Oh. Oh. No. oh. Turned around. <laughs> That's pretty now good. Now this. The snake is hard. I don't oh. know what you do with. Ah, oh, it just can't touch the box, the snake. Yeah, but then you have to move it up, I guess. Yep. But you can't move it when it's up. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't, you can't move it when it's up. You have to bring it back down again. Which makes sense. Does, does. actually make sense. You should not be moving with <laughs> your forklift up. No, it's against rules. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> that it does not make sense. It unbalances your load. Yep. Good variety. <laughs> it could grip it by the husk. African swallow or European swallow? <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I keep putting <gasps> Ah. OSHA would object. That's what I was trying to think of. I gotta defeat this snake. The snake's a good enemy. Oh, I did! I did it. That makes sense. And he's Brisbane. fast. Brisbane. Marco Johannes is in Brisbane. Magpie season ah. starting soon. <laughs> Magpie okay. season. You gotta raise it for the snake to pass. Yeah, safety and, first. Yeah. <laughs> and the snake goes fast when it's on the ground. And you can't move it. No, you're safe from the snake. Yeah. That's what confused me. I was like, "What am I doing?" 
And I and it was uh, very confusing at first why the box was falling all the time. I know. Yeah, you have to put bring it down first. That makes you sense. You can stop and put it up. Yeah. But <gasps> that snake. But you can't He's move nodding. while it's up. Very clever. Really mm -hmm. good mini game. This one. I would suggest changing up the enemy. Yes. Every once in a while, because rather than just dying and changing the enemy, it needs to cycle through. Yeah, kind of, because yeah. the snake. I mean, yeah. I've. I mean, I'll slip up eventually, but. It just gets a little, a little repetitive. Oh, I've got a lot of lives now. Oop. Ah. Yeah, he got you. <laughs> yep. You do get your points. These guys, these guys are rough. That. Oh, E.T. What are you doing here, E.T.? Why are you in... Get out of the way. <laughs> do I have to hit him or something? I don't know. E.T. you pick him up? Do you just go through him? Oh. What? What the... <laughs> Why did I die? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Because I sent E.T. home, but I had to. Like, There's no option. He was in the way. That was Me. funny. <laughs> it's E.T. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. E.T. is the big joke on... Oh, I know. Anything Atari. Anything Atari, yeah. You kind of hate it, but it's also funny at the yeah, same time. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so let's get to cool. the uh, main game. Here you go. I accumulated a lot of extra lives. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, just like before, there are five different games to choose from here. So you're selecting two out of the five, three out of the five games. <laughs> I thought you just select one. You put it in one of those, and then you go through to work. So I don't know which one you actually chose. No idea. And what is this? A different mini game. I think you chose a mini game. This is cool. It's like snow or... For no reason, here's E.T. <laughs> <laughs> Once the status bar fills up, you get a new enemy. Oh, do you? Oh, okay, okay. It does take a long time to fill up oh. the status bar. Don't. Uh, Is this the same one? I, I think it messed up. Because hmm. this isn't the game. Not the main one. Okay, so just pick one of those. You want me to read out what they are first? No. Or are you just going to pick one? I don't know. Here's the main game. So you have to... What am I doing? Well, that... <laughs> We're moving a lot. <laughs> you have to put down the pallet, the brown thing. Yeah. And there, you go get the boxes. There. That's right. Yeah. This is all coming back to me now. And now it's full, full. And fill up one of the trunks. There we go. I don't think you need to press the button for the boxes. You just touch know. them. No. Nope. I don't know. <laughs> uh, What's so manic. going on? What's so going manic. on? All right. There we go. You have to walk through it from yes. below. Yes. You can't do it from the side. Oh, you can. Well, no, not down below. It wasn't letting me do that. There you go. <laughs> it wasn't letting me do it. So there's five different versions. I can't remember. Which one did you pick? The last one? I don't know. Third, smaller pallets. This reduces the maximum size of pallets from ten boxes to five. So oh, I see. So it's that's why it's more frantic. There yeah. So it actually takes. It's harder because you have to go faster. Faster. Yeah. Nice. Uh, you can choose any combination, and it looks like a bug. I think the build you have didn't have any some of the variables reset. Okay. go and unload ah. the truck. Ah, now there's that thing. That's not bad because it's up there. So, oh, the warehouse is just getting to be a mess. What can I do? <laughs> I love the additions of the mini games in this now. It's great. So the different 
gameplay variations are one, throw boxes allows you to toss a box that is in your possession onto the ground. If it touches the ground, the box becomes damaged and cannot be put on the pallet. Uh, two, random jack. This randomizes the jack pallet, pallet jack placement after each time a pallet is loaded onto a bay. Three, smaller pallets. This is the one you're on. Reduce the maximum size of the pallets from 10 boxes to 5 boxes. Number four, no obstacles. Eliminates the spawning of the obstacles. Uh, oh, you can combine them. Yeah, 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 you can combine them. Um, the one with obstacles is more, more fun. So I guess you can just enter in without any of these options. Uh, the one in, for five, you have to load the bays in order. Um, so this has an element of Frogger, almost, where you have to get into the bays at the top of the screen. This one, you uh, don't have to hop on logs, but there are obstacles. What is going on here? Bug? No. <laughs> no, I just forgot. Oh, now you're on to the next level. Run! You wouldn't let me move for a second there. Oh, some, some screen jumping. A little bit. Not too bad, though. After last time, I, remo I reworked all the movements and boundaries. Marco Johannes... Marco Johans mm -hmm. <laughs> says, looks fun. It is fun. It looks like it's a bit smoother. Some of the visuals have improved. Yeah, it does. It does look a lot oh, smoother. Pick it up. <laughs> I guess it's smart to clear out like an area to move in. Yeah, but because it, they block your path. They do. And it's natural anyway to do that because all the boxes are near there anyway. Oh, come on. It's not the best place, is it? No. No. Dropped it. Oh, it chases you a bit. Oh, what happened there? Ah, ah, ah. Oh, it's tiny and oh, it's everywhere now. Oh, no. Everywhere. I don't think we made it up this high last time. Oh, come on. Well, it, is, it is technically harder to stack a pallet when it's stuck in a corner. So it makes perfect logical sense. The clicking of the joystick makes it sound so frantic. It is frantic. Ah! Oh, he's going after me. What does he do? Does he kill your boxes that you're carrying? What is, what's the penalty? Does it kill your time? Didn't quite see what, oh, it takes your, takes your boxes off your pallet. Oh, does it? Yeah, it did. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Pick it up. Oh, it's eating your boxes. Om yum, yum. Eats them out of your hand and off the pallet. I don't think you have to move the pallet initially before loading it. Oh. No, you don't have to. So I, 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 I tend to stack them, though. It is faster to move the pallet over. <gasps> oh, you get it? I don't think it did. If it's full, does it not be able to disrupt no, it? No, it does. It does it disrupt does? it full. I had it full before oh, and it disrupted it. Evil. Oh, oh no, do? it ate two of them. Or three. Wow. Oh, does it chase you? It does chase you a little bit, doesn't it? Come on. Come on. There you go. That's close. Last one. Okay, what's Oops. the danger now? Oh, that's a bit of a terrible placement. Flashing bar is the opening for the bonus level. Oh, that means you can go to the right of the bonus. If Where? You walk in there. I think. Oh, it's over. Mm. Well, that wasn't helpful. <laughs> <laughs> so this really slows it down. I guess you could put it lower if you had space, right? Building up. Oh, stop. No, what's going on? There it <laughs> I like it. It's a little bit um, imperfect in how it moves, if that makes sense. Like it's, it it jumps around a little bit, which makes it a little weird and janky and 
but it yeah um it makes it a little bit more uh makes it challenging challenging but not like it doesn't like to it doesn't like to fill them when it's um up and down when it's vertical yeah, yeah. Is this an asymmetric uh, playfield? Kev Kelly says yes. Oh, yeah, the boxes are playfield. Everything's playfield. Um, you're a player character. I'm guessing the the cart is a player character. The wooden pallet is the same color as you, so it would be a missile for player zero. And the enemy thing going around would be a missile for player one and I guess the ball is when you're carrying the box. Did I get it right? <laughs> I love guessing <laughs> what the five things are because <laughs> there's only five. Well, there's five things plus play field plus background, um, but it's fun trying to guess. Yeah, I got it right. I think that's a yes from Kev Kelly. Because it, 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 it's a more obvious with the color matching. Because mm. the missile has to be the same color. Well, it doesn't have to be, but it... Usually is? It usually is. Like, you could change the color. Like, if after you drew the palette, you could change the color from you. But when they're on the same line right beside each other, there's no time to do that. So usually people just leave them, unless it's like... A, even in the most advanced games, like if you look at uh, Draconian, when you're firing sometimes, and in other games, when it's the missile... Oh, it's that's... cycled back to the original, I think. Ah. Nice. I think the boxes are coming pretty fast now. When there's a missile beside you, it's the same color as you. But they're firing off so quickly that it leaves the area you're in and then changes to a different color. Good night, D-Train. Thanks good night. for tuning in. This is very soothing somehow. I don't <laughs> know what is it, it is. Yes, I enjoy it. It's kind of nice because you're cleaning up an area. I have to making say. Making it organized. It's kind of Get chaotic. the bonus, get the bonus, get to the bonus, get to the How bonus. Do oh, there. Ah! Oh, it's the... Uh... You're dropping the box. There you go. It's the... Poopin' birds. The trio of poopin' birds. Oh no! Oh, dropped it ah. and got hit. And you're out of there. That's really cool that you can play the bonus area as a game now. Yeah. That's really nice. Come on. Get oh yeah, look at those boxes come. Oh my god, they're coming fast. Oh, the cats. I like the feeling of chaos in this game. Yeah, I do too. It, I was going to say, it makes me feel like I'm at work. <laughs> Got to clean up mess of other people. Yeah. Just things this is, constant, constant This is things. the Am Amazon warehouse. Yeah. Like, oh, work faster. People need their stuff delivered to their house. They're not allowed to go outside anymore. James and Tanya want their cat litter. Yes, that's Box right. Box up that cat litter. Get that cat litter out to the... O'Brien's. Oh, it's 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 getting bad. It's getting bad. Wait till the wait till the enemies come. Oh, they go very fast. Do you want to play? Do you want to take over? Or is it getting At too fast level? for you? Oh my God! Look how fast it is. Um, I could. There's no pausing though, right? It just goes to the next level. Oh, it's going so fast. If you want me to, I can try. No, it's up to you. No, you can keep playing. I just to know if you wanted I'm to. fine watching. Should I do order fulfillment game next? <laughs> order <Yes>. fulfillment. <laughs> I mean, there's been lots of games like that where there's things coming down and you have to do those, do something with those things. And like piling burgers. Or, well, not lots of games. Not enough games. How about that? Well, Overcooked is is yes. a more recent, really great game. That's basically it. It's order it's, fulfillment, and yep. it's very challenging. And I, those games are so much fun. Yeah, do an order for fulfillment, fulfillment one. Oh, that one blocked your entrance. Um, I mean, this is basically one, but it's just 
it's one oh, type it's of so thing. so fast now. One type of order, and it's just boxes. Food retail management. There's been quite a few, few food ones. Um, what could you do instead of food? I mean, that's always the go-to. Are you in the logistic industry, <laughs> Kev Kelly? Uh, a drone delivery game. <gasps> <laughs> that would actually that's be good. really, really fun. And have... this, is drone delivery still a thing? Like, it just seemed like it such a... I know. I d do people actually do that? The problem is there's so many regulations. But, like... But that's the problem. I think it was just a thing like, it's, oh, look, haha, ha, we're going to deliver things by drone. And then do, yeah. is it actually ever ha actually happening? Because you have to have a landing pad and the people oh, getting silly. the delivery have to put out like a crosshairs on their lawn. Yeah. It's it's not as simple as I just, as they make it out to be. That's I just why. I didn't think it, people were actually doing that, you know, if like, it, was it just seemed like a, a gimmicky thing. Well, when there's one day delivery, why would people pay extra for a drone? Oh, I know. To have to go put out uh, a landing pad for it. Or you'd have to have a permanent landing pad. It's it's not it's not super great. Oh, it's going to chase you. Um, but yeah, a drone delivery service is you could have a square of houses, maybe like um, Ghostbusters did where it's like this square of houses um, and you have to fly boxes all over the city. That would be pretty good. I think there would be drone poachers if they tried it too. Yeah, people yeah. are always joking about drone poachers. It's like, it's on my land. It's right above me. Shoot yeah. it down. It's mine now. <laughs> I'm not sure what the uh, vertical height ownership is in US or Canada. Because oh, of because of it does above not, it does a, it is different. Above a certain height. You can't go because planes go there. Like there's different levels of the atmosphere. Um and obviously you can build your house up X floors as well. So technically you own that airspace, however high you can build that, because around our area it's about four floors. Yeah. Which would constitute, you know, whatever eight 10 times four, you know, 40 feet high yeah, in yeah. the air, let's say. And beyond that, you're not allowed to build, but bonus, no. Oh, it's very short bonus now. I would, would Like you this say literally feels like the pace of my job. Every day. <laughs> oh, it's like people running around. Here's a problem. Here's, Here's, a, problem a, problem. Here's, Here's a, a problem. Can you solve this for me? Solve my problem. I think maybe the game's too easy because you've been playing it for like a long time now. I don't think it's too easy. I think it's quite challenging, actually. Well, I'm enjoying it's, it. It's the right it's pace, fun. and and the pace keeps going up. Like, look how many boxes are on the screen. By by, if it speeds up any more, I will not be able to uh, continue. So. That's true. It's going to outpace you very it, very quickly. very quickly. Seems there's a few, pla few places where the cycles are exceeding the frame. Yeah, there are a couple jumps here and there. I saw a couple jumps. This is a rather so sharp uh, I think joystick. When he goes, ah, I think when he goes lower on. Go. lower on the screen, I, I've seen it. No, no, it's not happening there. Come on. I have to watch for it. I think there's... Is, Look how fast it is! is Insane! The, in the ability, in Stella, is their ability to break on a... Oh, there it is. I just saw it do a little line jump. So when you're moving to the right... I don't Look know. how fast it's going. Ah, ah, <laughs> Waste of time! It's not, it's not picking it up! There we go. Can you drive your cart into picking up boxes? Like, boop, 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 nope. boop, boop, boop. No. Nope, nope, that does You not have work. to put the box You on have to there. put the box on the pallet. Okay. The card is only for re maneuvering the pelt. I hope I hope the, the Amazon pallet. customer doesn't care what they get because they're just getting random box at this yep. point in time. Oh, oh no! no! Oh no! Oh, you have to use. <laughs> I can't even. Oh, I can kind of get it on there. There you go. Yeah, putting things way into the wall is not a good idea. No, oh, it's not intentional. Go. There you go. Oof. Very nice game collection. Yes. 
I still have a couple spots where it goes to 263 cycles. I can't quite fix yet. Okay. I'm sure you'll be able to hunt them down. It looks way cleaner than um, before. It's, it's only like ooh, ooh. a couple of things. Oh, thousand! Woo! Thousand! <laughs> Yay! Broke a thousand. You get one point each? Oh my god. Yeah, that's a lot of playing. <laughs> when does the game end? Like, I don't know. It gets faster and faster. But when does it end? Oh, when no. your whole bottom When you die? Up? How do you die? Yeah, how do you die Kelly, in this? How do, you, how do you die in this game? Is there is there a maximum point where you get trapped by your boxes? or? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, you could get trapped by boxes because you can only pick up one. Can you drop a box? I think only in, in your hands, I think you can. Yeah, the one in your hand? Can you... And the enemies haven't come back, have they? Uh, they do eventually. Like I think it cycles enemies through. Going, moving around. It I cycles. Seen... It cycles through. You get a few levels without them, and then oh, they spawn. Okay, they, I haven't seen spawn. one in a long time. Ah, what happened? Dropped it. How did I drop it? What did I hit? <laughs> Smooshed a box. Looks like the placing needs to be tweaked, trying to balance it so it's a good tug of war with the timer. Mm. Oh, you do have. Oh, the timer counts down for the level and that's how you lose a life you have so much time though <laughs> like you've not even come that last round you still had 75 percent of your time like you have so much time well i'm doing well <laughs> yes, that's not a fault of the game that's i'm it. just a good player uh, i like this game it's there fun there should be a challenge oh i mean there's the, f the inherent fun in just stacking it up. is fun. yes it is fun. but there needs to be a point where it's like this i have to get better at the game to play it like look at your timer massive amounts of time massive. It's, is it counting down oh it resets every time what does every um truck you fill up it where's resets. my timer oh yeah yeah but you get it done in like no time at all i get yeah, way I more time than that. necessary this game. don't don't <laughs> Uh, it looks like the, uh, only for one small thing when I added two more banks. You are playing the easy level oh, am I? in terms of timing. Oh, Because see? you only need to get five, right? That's true. S but still, you would feel you're not even getting down to half the length, half the time. It right? is speeding up though. Oh yeah. Well, do you wanna do you want me to stop and then you can you can try another iteration of the game? Um, we went through oh, the I just got a new life. I got an extra life. <laughs> Let me play. <laughs> you want to play? There yeah. you go. <laughs> now I get to debate whether I want another glass of wine. Uh oh. Oh. Poor icky body. Yeah, this is... Um... I do feel like I pick up packages all day long. <laughs> They're just virtual packages yeah. metaphorical packages this thing has happened okay help us solve this thing <laughs> <sighs> get on there yep yes actually carl g faster boxes actually is easier than slower since there are more to choose from when loading the pallet yes they come faster True. and if you, as long as you pick up and drop, yeah, there's so like there's so many. Like you fill your pallet really quick. Now you're now you're, oh, oh. Ah, ah ah hey leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't get rid of any of them. That's good. No, it didn't. It didn't suck it off like the little guy. The little guy was actually taking them off. Yeah, uh, it's very fun. It is fun. But it is really easy. fun. I I enjoy it immensely. It's very easy though. <laughs> it's it's meh. But this is the easy level with ten. Yeah. You need to. We need to restart it with the ten. But it's going to start at the beginning then, and it's going to be easy again. You're not. It's... You're not full. Oh. You're a bonus. What? Oh, something. Oh, it was the bonus. Yeah. Oh, it's deceptive. Nice. Ah, it's pushing. <laughs> it doesn't like you very much. Just get, get out of my spot. It's like the senior, senior foreman who's That's like, right. no. My forklift takes priority. <laughs> have not earned your right to move anywhere you yeah, want exactly this is the one that takes off the oh yeah off, and off, it goes everywhere off the pallet yeah 
kind of tracks you a bit. A little it bit. Seems. A little bit. Yeah, the vertical line tried to snatch the cargo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can get trapped or obstructed if not careful. <laughs> They're all like right there. Yeah. <laughs> We could, See? Very fast. We could work at a fulfillment center. Yeah, that sounds like fun. I feel like this, this qualifies ah, too as, low. <laughs> this qualifies as work experience. Yep. I have virtually completed uh, <laughs> Oh he took one! Bad thing. It's like Atari with his treats. Oh, oh no, no, they took oh. some! Oh, oh no! Ah! You gotta get him out of out of there you go. Woo, good job. <laughs> Oh, bonus area. No, you oh. can't have it there. You can't have it there. You have to put it higher up. What are you doing? Oh. Put it higher up. There you go. No, no, you have to get it out of the... Yeah, there you go. Pushes you out of the way. Yeah, pushes pushes off your pallet. I find it easier to put the pallet on the forklift. Um, because it's ready. ready yeah. To go right rather away. than fill the pallet and then grab the, the grab the forklift, and the forklift is usually towards the top, so you can pick it up on your way down. So, yeah. Needs to be harder, Kev. <laughs> no, it's this is just one, right? This is the easy level. Okay. You gotta try the harder one. Okay. It's fun though. That's it's really frantic. Fun. I like it. It is. It's very fun. Yep. Just in, inherently fun to play. Um, so, you can accidentally throw the boxes. Let's put that one on. Uh, random jack, randomized pallet jack placement. Sure, that makes it harder. Smaller pallets, no. Because that makes it easier, I think. No obstacles. This eliminates the spawning. No, we want the obstacles. Bays in order, yes. So we want the bays in order, because that's going to be the hardest thing to what do. What are you doing? Why are you picking all of them not all of them the oh. ones that are hard oh i see gotcha gotcha, gotcha. So now i have to get 10 of them yeah and i have to do them in order the bays Ugh. that makes sense can't even see the palette anymore <laughs> so i have to do one two three four I'm way ahead now because I practice on the super hard well, level. Well, yeah, this, the fast Come on, one. hurry up, hurry up. Come on, we got ship, shipments to make. The <laughs> trucks are waiting. Hurry it's up. all the zero page t shirts. That's they right. need to get delivered. To Canada. <laughs> no wonder they're so slow. Oh. Go on. Yeah, I can see on the higher levels this being a, a little bit more difficult because you have to do them in order. Um, I'm just trying to throw the box. There. Oh, it just disappears. Oh. I don't like this one. No, I don't can't like you this throw one. it onto the pallet? Oh, you yeah. can. Was oh, that like something you... Yeah, nice. Oh, wrong way. I don't think that's a, like a benefit. Yes, it is. It's you don't have to be. You don't have to run it right into it. Yeah. No. I guess. It's easier to walk into it. It is, because then you know. It's just more. You get. It's more certain. Mm. I guess throwing the boxes, you could dig your way out on the higher levels. That is true. Yeah, that is true. So maybe it's better not. What? Oh, I have to press the button. There's too many controls for this <laughs> should just be up and down throwing boxes ah. is the only way to kill that bouncing ball oh so you can use them as a weapon get it on there it needs to be further up i find mm. i find it easier if it's oh, higher yeah. if you could take if you approach from below yeah oh yeah oh it doesn't let you do in it order. in the wrong order yeah there you go you should make it 
so that it just dumps your whole tent. Yeah. You have to start over. Yeah, yeah it all, it all it's goes like, no, right back you down to the up. bottom. You put it in the wrong bag. Yep. Too bad. You lose the whole shipment. Be even better if the bays don't close off. So you have to remember which which was the last oh bay God. you filled. That sounds terrible. That would be awesome. <laughs> and then you'd be like, no, and then it completely restarts. You have to start from one. Not a bad idea. It would be uh, very frustrating, but it would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Kip Kelly, that would be hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm You're done? done. <laughs> I mean, okay, I mean, I played for quite a while. Yeah. Then I watched you. Oh, so. that was fun. I like that game. Kev, Kev, Kevin, Kev. Kev, Kevin. Yep. Kev Kelly. Kev Kelly. Yeah. Enjoyable. Really fun. Very, very nice. Really creative. Yep. I like it a lot. Very frantic. I like games that have a bit of franticness and speed element yeah. to them. That definitely does. Yeah. That's for sure. Um, so today we played Pit Cat. Amazing. Really, really good. Um, excellent job mm. done on that. Um, great music. Great graphics. Mm. Especially the title screens as well. The scrolling menu of levels. And... Um, the codes for inputting which level you're going to be on it's just really really amazing and just everything about it um prince of indiana really unique it's cool game. yeah i mean it's it's, it's very quick more game. like a sequence like it's it's not a it doesn't feel very game like but it's really no. neat to kind of play and watch because there's no paths it's a linear it's path. linear path yeah. yeah um if there was like branches but it can only be so big because of the way it's done the way it's, it's done. really yeah, it's frames sense. of animation mm -hmm. on a 2600 which it's is very crazy. cool yeah that's very cool uh snakes fun little starter game it's yeah. great I love great it. uh programming exercise yeah. for for the person who who made it um and it's it's very cute mm. little face little snake face um, and Crossdoc, great updates. Yes. It's yep. a lot more fun. Yeah. Um, it was fun last time, but it, like the having the mini games and then the yep. game itself is, is, is really, yeah, it's really yep. enjoyable. Dragon's Lair wasn't that fun to play after you nest it. Yeah. Beat it Beat either. it, yeah. It, yeah, if you know the exact right combo. Yeah. 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 There, it, there are a lot of games like that, that once you've, once you've completed them, it's like, there's no point in replaying this. Yeah, you saw everything, yeah. you got to the end, it's there's, all There's, there's, you're just playing it over again, so, yeah. yeah. So, let's take a look at what's coming up on the roster next episode. We've got, uh, just one game filled in right now called Chase It. Mm. Um, then the next episode after that, actually the next uh, episode is Tuesday. Yeah. It's an early show. It's 11 a.m. So make sure you mark your calendars. Mm -hmm. um, then we're doing the last game, the last round of the 2020 Harmony Games. Galagon, we're trying to beat our score because there's some decent scores up there that beat us right away. <laughs> mm. um, and that's, you play like level one to eight and then you have to take your score at level eight. Then we're playing the football, <laughs> uh, just as you requested. <laughs> playing one, two, three, four, what? one, two, just three, as I requested. Four, five, I remember this. Five football games. Wow. Get, getting it over with. Getting it done. Wow. All the football games. Wow. Don't make any more, <laughs> because we're doing them all. <laughs> um, and then uh, looking ahead. Uh, August 14th is the developer spotlight on Daryl Spice yes, Jr. That's exciting. From yep. Spiceware. We're going to go through his games. Yep. And then in September sometime, we're going to be uh, doing another developer spotlight on John Shampo from awesome. Champ Games. Nice. Which is very exciting. And uh, yeah, see what happens mm. with the rest of it. See what uh, games we're going to be playing next time. I'm sure there'll be more games. Mm -hmm. So it seems to be a lot of new games. A lot of people developing been, right now. Been so. playing like new games for three straight. Yes. <gasps> the final 2600 Ooh, repair chapter coming yay. tonight. <laughs> That's something to look forward to as well. So Very cool. Check out the Atari Age forums for Nathan Strum's posts mm -hmm. in the Zero Page Homebrew Club um, section of the Atari Age um, mm -hmm. forum. You can follow along and look at all the beautiful photos that Nathan Strum has taken. Mm -hmm of my Atari, RGB Atari. So I'm excited about that. So thanks for hanging out with us. Um, thank you to Nathan Strum 
uh, Mr. Fix, Captain Classic, Dan AVC, Marco Johans, uh, Jupiter Storm 17. Yeah, some fun games tonight. Uh, Kev Kelly, Carl G, Andrew Davey. Uh, Mr. Fix, did I say that? Carl G, yeah, I did. Uh, D Train 37. Uh, who else? Uh, CPC 464 kid, thank nice. you for making snakes. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun. It Great was game. really cool. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Davies in there. Pacra VG. Hi, Sposta. I didn't see you even say. Oh, I did. Uh, yeah, he was in there. I didn't mention that comment, but I didn't know it was yeah. you. Danny VC. Jupiter Storm. And that's the end of the scroll back. Mm -hmm. Happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Oh, it is, is to it? To the USA Tomorrow. in some time zones. Yes, zone. enjoy yourself. Yes. Some time zones, maybe. Yeah. How mm -hmm. far do their time zones go? Three? Four? At least three. Eastern is three, and there's got to be uh, another. I don't know. The U.S. goes in, so maybe it's yeah. just three. Yeah. We have four and a half, right? <laughs> yeah, because we have Newfoundland. We get wider uh, at the top. Hawaii's yeah. the other way. Yeah. They they haven't. Uh, they're really early still. Yeah. They're like one hour, two hours. Yeah. So they're like oh, six. Wisconsin. Um, Wisconsin mountain here. and then eastern. Yep. And then Atlantic. Atlantic. That's four from us. Is Atlantic? I don't know. They and have Atlantic in the U.S. I don't think there's, there's an all in Eastern there. No later than Eastern. Yeah, Atlantic yeah. is a Canadian yeah. time zone. Yeah, so we go up a little bit wider, and then we have a half hour time zone. And then zone. there's Newfoundland. Yeah, Newfoundland is half an hour. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. Well, yeah. it is Fourth of July uh, soonish in twenty minutes. In twenty for minutes, the Eastern. Yeah. Uh, we already had our time July first a couple days ago. Yes, we did. Canada Day. Yes, so you did. have USA Day. Well, happy <laughs> Happy Independence Day. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, Armscar Coder, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Armscar Coder. Yeah. Thanks Good for stuff. hanging out tonight as well, coming back. Central, that's it. Mountain Central, Eastern, yep. and Pacific. So you think right. yeah. mountains are to our east, so it's mountains first. Yeah, Pacific Mountains. It, sh Mountain, it should have been Central, called like prairies, Eastern. flatlands time zone. Yeah. <laughs> Central. Eastern, yeah. Central. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Um, so we'll be back on. Tuesday mm -hmm. next week, 11 a.m. early time, mm -hmm. Pacific time. So make sure you tune in and uh, we will see you then. Mm -hmm. Thanks Looking for hanging to. out with us and have a good night and have a good weekend. Bye, everyone. Bye.